the microphone on and all these technical thingies and doodads and <laughs> let's turn on the desktop audio how's it going everybody welcome to off the shelf reviews gaming friday a little bit later than normal and today we're going to be taking a look at dead space 3 and joining me uh, for the first time in a live stream is our good friend Dan Allen. Dan, are you there? I'm here. Hello. How are awesome. Doing, everyone? Can everybody hear Dan? Um, if you could let me know, that would be great. And then also, if you could, let me know if you can hear Dan over the game audio. That's the other thing. <laughs> so we're going to have a couple of uh, technical things to kind of make sure gets working um, before we begin. Uh, but once we know everything's working, we should be good, but it's dead space, and so we know the audio fluctuates, goes up and down. It likes to lull you with that silence before things get really, really loud. <laughs> uh, so, uh, hey, Matt Mitchley. Hey, Mr. Buttons. Hey, Seagull King. Hey, Josh. Uh, how's it going, everybody? I hope you've had a really good week. I'm glad most of you enjoyed the, uh, the review that went up yesterday. Um, oh, look at that. I've just started streaming. And someone from Bolton is ringing me. Get, get out of it. Get. <laughs> like, my hey, phone hasn't rang. <laughs> it hasn't rang all day. It hasn't rang all week. <laughs> <sighs> Typical. <laughs> uh, you haste this game, this gem, this g game. <laughs> it's not a great game. But I still think Dead Space 3's got... Um, there's still enough here uh, to warrant revisiting it every now and again. It's inferior to the previous uh, Dead Space games, but this game's still a hell of a lot better than some of the crap that's getting released today. I, th I think. <laughs> Gary rocking that Halo better than ever. Awesome! <laughs> Just don't tell the devil. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to playing through with some, uh, some co-op favorite thing to play through with you on, on these co-op games we played down i don't even know how many co-op games we've played together we've played so many over the years Most of them. uh i mean I, I first met you competitively back on <laughs> xbox live on the uh was it the original xbox or was it for 360 i think it was the 360 i met you on wasn't it was it? a 360 on burnout revenge burnout revenge uh which carried on yeah. over into was it was it takedown was that the which order was it um, it was a couple no, of Burnout games. Burnout Paradise, the one that came after that. Oh, okay. Burnout Revenge was the second to the last, and then right. Paradise killed the series. Yeah, and uh, we we played the Burnout games a lot. <laughs> a lot. I think I think between the both of us and the the few that we played with, we were all top fifty in the world. Yeah, yeah, I got top ten at one point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, big shout out for Dan. Cheers, Seagull King. Um, I'm glad uh, you can all Cheers, hear sure. everybody. Uh, everything's coming through fine. Nobody said that the audio... Yeah, audio's all good. Thanks, Mr. Buttons. Very good. Okay, so before we begin, um, we are going to... Because this is... We're going to be playing on the hard difficulty, but it is a little bit easier when you're playing co-op, so that should kind of balance things out a little bit. Uh, but for this playthrough, we're, we're here for the story. We want to find out what happens to Isaac, uh, what the markers mean and what they're doing. And uh, this game opens up the world of Dead Space... Uh, opens up its scope quite a bit, which is one of the reasons why I really like it, because first game, you know, it's a haunted, you know, haunted house in space. Uh, the second one opened it up onto the bigger space station. Uh, then the third one kind of, again, opens it up a lot more. We'll, we'll see the problems uh, with the game as we go through them, but hopefully we'll also see the good things in there too. Uh, so get, to get the ball rolling, we're going to have a look at what previously happened to Isaac Clarke in Dead Space 2. organization that believes the markers are divine 
and their plan for us a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the black market disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the black marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energy to himself. The records of this era are unclear, but we now know the replication was successful, but the cost too high. The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during a legal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker, and with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift, a mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by Earthgov, his mind harvested for the marker's secret. The marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Spore. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis 7. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clark, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater iceball of a planet, where 200 years ago, someone, somehow, stopped a marker uprising in its track. A clue from the past that may save our future. Well, that, was, that was quite an in-depth recap. I didn't almost didn't want that to end. <laughs> I was just like, okay, like Mr. Buttons, yeah, get that well, popcorn. <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I I, re I very rarely drink tea, Mr. Buttons. Um, I, I'm always drinking coffee. I have a bit of a coffee addiction. <laughs> and uh, no, I, I don't have a problem with um, uh, <clears throat> the uh, SpongeBob character, the Gary the Snail. Yeah, it's it's quite a compliment. There's been quite a few Garys in in uh, TV shows and films and things, and it somehow always comes back to me. But it's it's fine. <laughs> oh. Hey Matt Midgley, yeah, hope everything's all good. Everything is all good. Everything is all good. Hey, um, Creative Deconstructionism. Uh, hey, CTO uh, uh, Bruiser Music. Gary, the only Englishman to prefer coffee <laughs> next to James Bond. <laughs> Quite a company. <laughs> okay, so I think we're ready to go. Um, there's the, I'll take that invite. Um, there's quite a lot of uh, story uh, uh, and and dialogue at the beginning of the game as well, but um, let's. Uh, here we go. I think we'll have uh, to mute each other again. Oh yeah, we'll probably have to mute each other. Yeah. Um, yeah, quite, yeah. And muted. We don't want to hear that jerk. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. It's going to be oh. weird not playing as Isaac, I swear. <laughs> well, why, why are you not playing as Isaac? I, um, because uh, I have never had the chance to play this game as, uh, as uh, John Carver. And uh, this game did something very unique with its co-op playthrough, oh. is that the two characters will experience different hallucinations throughout the game. Um, so that's uh, I quite like that. I didn't. It freaked so, me out. This for me is is all. I mean, I know the environments, I know the gameplay, but the uh, the visuals will be entirely new for me. So, I'm actually going to get something new out of Dead Space. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey Two Five Zero. Toronto 
Hey Zane, welcome to the live stream, dude. We have missed you. It's so good to see you again. Thanks for thanks for coming in. Hey, hello, crazy eighty eight. <laughs> How's it going? Um, so I had a quick uh, a quick gander at this game the other day. I was like, I'll just start a single player game just to check the game's running. And uh, interestingly, during all of this cutscene, it's just one character that's here. Um, so it's cool to see that both the characters are in the cutscene uh, instead of just the one now. Uh, hey Robert Allen, uh, you were just watching uh, Mandalore's video on this. Perfect timing, awesome. Hey Scarrow, thank you very much for the five pound. Hope you guys are doing okay. Keep up the great work. Cheers, Scarrow, dude. Much appreciated. I'm glad you're enjoying the work. Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, the game will let us know when we can sprint. I think we've got to get out of this storm first. Um, actually, you can still move. You can still walk faster. It is the left bumper button. Uh, no worries, Zane, if you're lurking. Have a good luck, dude. We know you're there. Uh, Uncreative says this was his least favorite of the series. This was the uh, Monopolis of the of the franchise to me. Uh, yeah, it is the weakest of the of the three games, but like, like I still think it's a it's still a good game. It has problems. Um, I definitely think it's better if you play it co-op. You can uh, get a lot more out of it. Because it's not as much as a horror game. At least I didn't feel that when we played through before. Um, I think if you play this game on your own... Like, I mean, if this is the first one that you've picked up out of the three games... Um, and you play it on your own, I think you could still get... You know, you can still have the jump scares, can still be effective. It can still be quite creepy. Um... But uh, yeah, I, I put it down to the uh, to the same fact that you know it's it's hard to be scared of the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Um, and so you know this is by the time you've got to this game, you would have at least already spent about twenty hours uh, in the Dead Space universe. No, I think um, that's curious. I, I'm not sure if the ammo is shared, so if you could just pick that one it's up. It's not. It's instance. It's instance. Oh, that's I great. It yeah. is. Yeah, I remember it. Mr. Bun says, uh, how come they never made a fourth game? Um, because, uh, I mean, Dead Space 3, uh, uh, Dead Space 3 didn't uh, get the sales that they wanted. Like, at the time of Dead Space 3's release, Call of Duty was doing very, very well. And so EA were like, we don't have a, a, a Call of Duty game, so let's make Dead Space 3 our Call of Duty game. Um, and as a result, they were hoping for 5 million sales of Dead Space 3. Even though Dead Space 2 only sold around 2 million, they wanted 5 million for Dead Space 3. When Dead Space 3 released, it barely sold 800,000 copies. So... EA were also having financial difficulties with some of their other studios, and so they laid off a whole bunch of people, um, including Visceral Games. They were let go. Um, although, bef even before Visceral Games were shut down by EA, the three main team members behind the franchise had all left. They'd all left because they didn't really like working at EA. <laughs> um, so that's why we, uh, we never got a Dead Space. Uh, four. And even if we ever did get a Dead Space 4, it wouldn't be by any of the original developers. Not, not a one of them. Because none of them are there anymore. Uh, which is sad. Uh, but at least they're all still working in the games industry. Uh, which is something. I do like these action sequences though. I mean, oh shit! Oh, I'm falling! <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna jump, gonna jump, jump! 
I'm getting out. I'm getting down. I'm not waiting. <laughs> I gotta jump. I can't even see where you are. I think I'm in front of you. I gotta be. I'm at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Must go faster. Must go faster. <laughs> shoot the thing. Oh, to shoot the bird. I didn't know you could shoot the thing. Oh no! <laughs> right, okay. Whew, that was intense. At least we didn't <laughs> die in the beginning part. Right. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I do quite like the setting. The setting for this game, I was just like, oh, it's Dead Space meets Lost Planet. <laughs> yes! I, I definitely get a Lost Planet vibe. Yeah, uh, from this game. That was another franchise that I enjoyed the first one, and then they steadily just got worse for me. The, the first one was good. The second one was uh, it was okay, and the third one doesn't exist. Yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> Doesn't that general just scream villain to you? Well, I hope he doesn't shoot me. Speaking of Call of Duty vibes. Where, where did very, I go? Uh, Call of Duty, the sequel to Call of Duty 4. Yeah. <laughs> See, you think he's a villain, but he's kind of trying to do the right thing. Kind of trying. I don't even know what the right thing is right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, all of that there, I think, took place 200 years ago. Yeah, 200 years later. It's awesome. I love that visual. It does remind me a little bit really of Star good. Wars. Oh, Ellie. That'll be uh, John Carver there. Oh, the music in this is so good. The voice acting is so good. The animations are really good. The visuals right. still look pretty good as well. The textures yeah. look a little rough in some areas, but yeah, that, that scene coming down there with, when we were looking out the uh, the window, yeah, real good. Hey, I can see Isaac. 
It's so weird to not be Isaac. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, Robert Allen, um, I, I I agree. Uh, EA definitely tried to appeal to the masses with uh, with this game, and um, with I reckon a lot of people. Like, one of the first enemies you come across in this game is a soldier, and uh, and there's a cover system in this game, which <laughs> it's just not Dead Space. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Isaac. I was just listening to your um, <laughs> your uh, answer machine messages. <laughs> um, I just want to test. Does this pause it for you? It does. Yes. That's okay. I need um, my subtitles on. I need yeah. My subtitles on. I <laughs> cool. Think <about> <laughs> I think my subtitles are on. I think they are. Uh, but Matt Midgley asked a question. Uh, Gary, what did I think of Ozark? I did. I finished season three of Ozark this week. Um, my second favorite TV show of this year. I will say um, next to Better Call Saul, um, it's not as good as not as good as the writing uh, as as uh, as that show, but Ozark season three was the best of its three seasons. It was really really good. Um, one of one of those evenings, I was up until three in the morning because I was just like, next episode, next episode, <laughs> like fuck <laughs> it, let's finish this now. <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, really 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 good. Um, Netflix hasn't renewed it for season four yet. Um, Despite all the acclaim it's getting, I really hope it gets picked up for another season. Um, I kind of predicted the ending to Ozark Season 3. I was like... Well, actually, I didn't predict the ending to Season 3. I predicted what the start of Season 4 would be, which was actually the very end of Season 3. So I was like, oh, wow. They... <laughs> uh, but even though I, I saw it coming, I, I still enjoyed it. I still enjoyed how it played out. <laughs> the physics on that. What did you hit him with? <laughs> Headshot. Oh, nice. Have I? I haven't even got a gun, have I? I'm just holding out my hands in front of me, like pew pew. Oh, there we go. Now I've got a oh, gun. No. <laughs> oh, I've got no ammo. Oh, we've got to get to the car. Oh, okay. Uh, Goddamn suicidal unitologists. I think guys could be used to this shit by now. Hey Linda, how's it going? Oh, get out of those ways. I really enjoyed uh, yours and uh, Ian's uh, Red Dead Redemption stream uh, the other night. Very, very entertaining. <laughs> we all laughed at the amount of times you crashed that horse and cart. <laughs> it's all good though. <laughs> Well, I'm just standing in your way here, just like la 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 la. Isaac's got this. I forget we are playing on hard. I should should try to be a little bit more aware. Uh, I just ran in. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Can you lock on? Oh, we've we've got stasis already. Um, it's the uh, the B but the B button to use stasis to uh, to bring things towards you. No, no shiny behind there. I was just going around stomping on corpses. I mean, if oh. that's what. Yeah, you I think like we got to go do. up. <laughs> yeah, they're like human pinatas. <laughs> That's alright, Linda. You get better. And there's things beyond in that game that are beyond anybody's control. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the horses are hard to drive. Horses in games are stupid. <laughs> I just remember that one fighting me. I'd turn left and it'd fight me to go right, and I'd just inevitably end up in a tree and then on the ground. Right. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Just shot an I innocent to person. Her misery. her misery. She could have pulled through. I mean, she got shot in the leg. 
<laughs> but you can see, uh, obviously, this is very different to uh, to Dead Space just from its beginning. Like you're in a city, you're in the city streets. It's like it's very, it's just really op opened up. Oh, there's a large med pack. Let's. I've got so. I've, I'm, got, I've never seen so many health packs. <laughs> How have I got so many health packs? I remember when we played through this before, because we played through on normal the first time, and you said, oh, <laughs> you missed that. <laughs> I yeah. got hit by a truck. <laughs> yeah, the first time we played through, you said it was quite easy because um, there was a lot of extra stuff, and with it being co-op, it just, we just went straight through it, really. Yeah. Steamrolled it. Um, I don't want to commit mass genocide here. <laughs> I got no issue. <laughs> Oh my god. All the, pe all the people. <laughs> They're just going to work. <laughs> I don't know. I get the feeling that maybe these were automated. Like, especially the speed that they're traveling at. I don't see any bodies. No. It's all good then. <laughs> Partner needs more space. Ah, oh. oh, I'm being shot! Just some ammo over here and some more health packs, nothing else. It feels weird to play a game with an actual health bar rather than, you know, regenerating health. Yes, yeah. Like uh, Halo or, or Gears of War. Or any... <laughs> or, oh, any games since those, yeah. I mean, the, uh, the first Call of Duty game, I think, was health packs. And then, I think from the second one onwards... The a very original Call of Duty, yes it was. Yeah. And it was brutally difficult that game. Yes. Oh wow, look at the bodies. Can we shoot them down? Can I let them loose? No. Yeah, they might pull through. Oh, I can't punch his head off. <laughs> I'm so used to punching heads off. <laughs> What's melee? Uh, right, uh, right trigger, without aiming. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It also feels sacrilege that sprint is not left thumbstick, left bumper. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just it, it feels wrong. You could probably change the controls, but I can, uh, I can cope. Sorry, I'm just eyeing, eyeing uh, Isaac's character model up. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at you with the evil red eyes, and it's disconcerting. I was gonna say, yeah, I've got, I've got my full rig on. You, you haven't got your power rig yet. <laughs> oh. Oh. Bye, Isaac. <laughs> Sounds like the Inception horn. Looks very pretty. Now it's time for you to join the cycle of rebirth. Oh shit! Uh, Scarrow, Gary, will you get the PS5? Probably not. I probably won't get the next Xbox either. Um, I'll probably just get some more uh, PC parts, I think. I already made that commitment. Yeah. 
I already upgraded. The last gen was a very a bit of a letdown for me on consoles. Yeah. Um, my PC is having a lot of issues with the uh, amount of editing and rendering I've been doing lately, and I keep getting blue screens of death right now. Um, so I, I definitely need to uh, get get some more editing software or um, get new PC parts um, pretty soonish. I've got that horrible tutorial message on my screen. I couldn't see anything. Die already. Missed my stamp. <laughs> <laughs> there's more of them. Oh, on your left. Uh, Linda, you said Ian's been outside today. Well, it wasn't out too long. <laughs> it's hot out there. Yeah. Very hot. I haven't had a chance to go outside. I had to work, unfortunately. And then I came straight off work to come and do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully this game doesn't feel too much like work. No, no. It's already better than work. <laughs> Less monstrous as well. <laughs> Like, compared to how busy the city skyline was about 10 minutes ago, to how quiet it is out there now. It was a huge explosion. I don't think this is definitely not Earth either, because, uh. <laughs> is it. Were we on the moon? I don't know where we are. Uh, it did say when it. Uh, flashed yeah. Off, and it said 200 years later, but I didn't quite catch it. A few more supplies in here, nothing essential. Oh shit. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the stuff we're picking up here is just, uh, I mean, we're still on the, uh, the prologue. <laughs> Ian's on his fourth can of San Miguel. Nice. It is the weekend. <laughs> Enjoy it, Ian. If he's on his fourth, he'll be on his ass within a couple, within an hour, then won't he? <laughs> G1222. See tranquility. Yeah. See a tranquility. Delayed. Delayed, yeah. <laughs> Delayed but indefinitely. Yeah, I, just, I, don't, I don't think it is a... <laughs> <laughs> Most valuable company on the moon. Oh, moon. Oh, we are on the moon then, yeah. Uh, I like this segment of the game. I like how colourful it is. And uh, there's another Easter egg right there. Um, the Clogger Part 2. Um... In in Dead Sp in our, our Dead Space two playthrough the other week we there was a um uh, what do you call it a, a PDA um one of those audio files uh, or text files that disappeared on me just as I went to go and pick it up and I went back to check what it was and it was um an Easter egg from the developers uh, because apparently when they were making Dead Space one and two a member of their team that they didn't know who it was had a habit of blocking their toilet. <laughs> and so they had to put an email out to all the members of staff to say, please stop clogging the toilet. And so they put a cl they made up a poster in a film called The Clogger. Um, <laughs> and now we have Clogger Part 2. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you got to laugh. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Feels like he was rewarded for it. <laughs> yeah, Except it's, it's immortalized game. now. <laughs> yeah. Fuck! You scary ass. What is he holding? He was just so loud. I don't know what it is in his hand. He's holding the cloggers. Um, <laughs> the clog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
the uh, the villain from the clogger part. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're the clogger. Salvation is near. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. What? Is that necromorphs here? Oh. Completely missed them with the stasis. Oh, I got caught from behind. I'm dealing with the front still. I got him. It's giving this necromorph the beat down. <laughs> There's another one. I've got to remember that stasis is a thing. Yes, uh, there's there's quite a lot of stasis uh, recharge units in the game. So uh, you can kind of use it without worrying too much. Something I liked quite a bit out of the second Dead Space was just watching the Necromorph outbreak occur. You know, just watching everybody running and screaming and panicking and... Instead of turning up, you know, like in Dead Space 1, after the events have occurred. It definitely adds to that, the action kind of horror aspect. Yeah. They're not around for long, though, are they? <laughs> not with us two around. <laughs> no. I told you, Isaac's not an engineer, he breaks things. He doesn't <laughs> fix things. <laughs> Wait, come on, give me a hand. What for? Is that the train? Yeah. Oh, watch out, Isaac. <laughs> oh. I never tell you guys I uh, have a, a recurring nightmares about trains. Um, not, not, for, not for quite a long time. Um, but uh, when I was about four years old, um, I nearly died. I had a near-death experience with a train. And, uh, and so throughout, like, growing up, um, like, trains don't scare me. Um, but every so often I'll have that recurring nightmare um, that I'm on the train tracks. And I'm, I'm usually, you know, it's like there's like a hundred lines of railroad track. And I'm always just running from left to right because there's a constant stream of trains just coming at me. And so I have to keep kind of dodging left and right to avoid the trains. Uh, it's kind of like a... Frogger from top down. Yeah, kind of like Frogger, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I'd end up avoiding the trains as long as possible until I get hit and then wake up in a cold sweat. Because um, when I was four, um, living very close to the railroad tracks, um, I wandered away from the babysitter. And wandered onto the rail railroad tracks, and uh, yeah, nearly got hit by the train as it was coming to the platform. You know, I can vividly remember the train getting closer. Uh, I can remember the brakes on the train being slammed on, um, and uh, and then a very desperate mother <laughs> of mine pick picking me up like from the platform up onto yeah you know, up onto the platform um, just seconds before. It, it was lights out for me. I uh, I got a similar story. I grew up right next to the train track as well. Um, and my sister's uh, boyfriend at the time, he wasn't welcome in the house because he was a stoner. He was a bit of a loser. His parents weren't a fan. So he used to go up on the train tracks and just sit on there because it was part of a, a bridge. So you'd be able right. to sit on the actual rail bit and dangle your legs. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we thought it was disused, which is why we went up there. And then it started being used again. And he did, unfortunately, get hit by the train. I went up there and went and found him, and yeah. I felt bad for the train driver because it was his first trip out. Harsh. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got, I've got the same healthy respect for train tracks as, uh, yeah. as I imagine you have as well. Yes, yeah. Um, but uh, I was I was actually watching um, a playthrough of a game called uh, Lost in Vivo uh, the other week, and. Uh, your character, it's first person, 
is you know he's in in an abandoned kind of train area and uh, there's a train or it looks like a train and um, out of nowhere it just launches it yourself at the screen and even though I was watching somebody else play the game I had an instant anxiety a panic panic attack because the train launched itself at the screen and then mutated into a creature and uh, it was horrifying and it just immediately brought back that horrifying memory and I was like geez like I've seen trains in video games I've ridden on trains and that that memory is was so suppressed uh, but it just took that horror video game uh, just to spark that that memory and ah oh, just n nightmare fuel um, I, I understand it. Yeah, it's weird. The human mind is fa is a fascinating thing. Um, and this is one of those, you know, Dead Space tried to play on, you know, the psychological horrors and things. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll see uh, Carver's psychological horror <laughs> kind of play out for us. I know you've witnessed it, Dan, <laughs> but I, I, I haven't. It so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'd see that toy soldier and I'd just start whimpering. <laughs> I'm going to jump for it. Go! Why am I going so slow? I think it's because I was behind you. I ah. I hey, Tarman69. You know when you did Dead Space 2 the day and you were crawling through that little vent and stuff like that? Yeah, I claustrophobia. Yeah. I'm yeah. you that. I'm inhaling like... <gasps> I just, it just gets you, man. <laughs> Oh, that was intense. Yeah. It's all uphill from here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Stuart Schaefer. How's it going, dude? Chapter two, this, on your own. Well, this is definitely a safe haven. Nothing bad can go wrong here. <laughs> of course. I think, uh, yeah, I was going to play this one. I want to play soldiers. John, he idolizes me. Well, you better get that idea out of his head. Got that? Well, I gotta go. Love you. Game audio was a bit low. Okay. Um, let me just see. I'll just up it a little bit. The game audio is going to go quiet um, while I move it away. Um, but I'll just move it up to there. Um, let me know if it's still too low, and I'll up it again just a little bit more. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, um, uh, Mr. Oh, I've Buttons. Got a second weapon. I didn't realize. Oh yeah, we finally got our um, plasma cutters. Uh, Axel, hey Gary, have you ever played Soma? And what are your thoughts about it? Soma is a uh, it's a fantastic game that that came out at a time of uh, horror walking simulator games. Um, I'll get back to my thoughts. Sorry. Attempted a blind shot to an uncharted planet. She believes it holds the secrets of stopping this monster epidemic. But we've been unable to make contact. Our number one priority is finding and securing Agent Langford and her team. Uh, so yeah, the uh, you might want to collect some of these up here, Dan, in the uh, the these um, cabinets. Because we're going to be collecting lots of different weapon parts. It's not just ammo and health anymore. 
Um, there's lots of schematics and pieces we're going to need to build our own weapons, which is where the uh, microtransactions came in into this game, which is just just yeah. horrible. We just uh, med packs for me up there as well. I didn't get any. Really? Okay, I got uh, I got parts. No tungsten or anything like that for me. Yeah, tungsten I think is the uh, the ultimate kind of. Um, it was uh, you know it was power power nodes originally to open doors. But I think it's tungsten metal we need to open doors in this one. I will get no, back to Soma in a second, guys. Oh shit! <laughs> we just can't have one quiet moment, can we? <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here! Yeah. Leave him. It's gonna be a problem in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac's now telling other people how to fix stuff. <laughs> Instead of doing it himself. Uh, hey, Wet Dream, welcome to the chat, dude. No, not Gravity Offline! <laughs> oh, that's better this is this is horrific <laughs> I can't imagine anything more nightmarish than walking on breaking glass it's gonna drop you off into space oh I'm stuck I can't move I made it so it's okay. hold door hold door <laughs> no we're not friends <laughs> 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 Uh. <laughs> Isaac, you still there? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I thought you were gone then. <laughs> oh, that. <there. laughs> yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I'm surprised you lasted that long in, in the vacuum of space. Uh, there's plenty of weapon crates, but I kind of... Oh, we got to re remove the locks, the clamps. Uh, the, if you see something blue and glowing, that usually means you can interact with it. Oh, I'm stuck. I've released the clamps, I just need to hit the button, but I can't, just can't get to it. Oh! I think I did that. Don't let go. <clears throat> I didn't do anything there. <laughs> I was very disorientated. Right. Uh, uh, 
Oh, there's mines. Shoot the mines. Shoot the mines. Huh. Avoid the debris. I'm going to try and predominantly stay on the left side. Oh, I'm going to go through the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, there's two needles. <laughs> I remember the last time I said that to you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was bounced. Oh shit! The debris breaking up. What we gotta do? We gotta get to that that crate. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go I left. Gotta go left. <laughs> Shoot those mines! Shoot those mines! I'm going. Just gonna stay right behind it. I thought that was you still holding on to the crate then. I was like, no, you're right next to me. Oxygen level. Got 93 seconds of oxygen left. I got 2 minutes 16. Oh, wow. Not 2 minutes, 212, sorry. Well, that's like 3 minutes. Yeah. Oh, it looks like the power's out everywhere. There's no way to activate the cargo door. Convenient oxygen tanks just floating around. <laughs> Isaac Clarke treks into dead space. Yep. <laughs> We're back in familiar territory now. We're back in space. Where everything is dead. So yeah, this game does something different with the ammo. I think uh, whatever ammo you have works on every weapon you have equipped. Manage. Yeah. What's that say? All is lost. Yeah, it's uh, about the size of it. <laughs> Don't like how these. Um, <clears throat> I prefer to just open the doors instead of having to use stasis to open the doors. It's a little bit annoying. It will be, yeah. I don't think I picked up a heavy frame. Where was it to? It was, it was just there. Oh. Just there. Oh, there's nothing there for like me. Like I said, all the, all the loot is instanced. Yeah. I know we can drop it for each other as well. That's okay. Uh, Josh uh, asks, Gary, do you remember Isaac from Heroes? I'm guessing the TV show Heroes? Name reminds Wasn't me of a character from the show. He, didn't he draw the comics, which was the future? It, was he the painter? He was a painter yeah, as well, wasn't I, he? Yeah. I, I think he was. Yeah. He was one of my favourite characters. Um, yeah. Uh, but Isaac Clarke, the name comes from two famous science fiction authors. Like Isaac Asimov. Um, I can't remember where Clark comes from off the top of my head. I used to be able to, to tell you. Hey, Ian. Hey, Ian. Yeah, you should probably say something offensive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't have to try. I mean... <laughs> Hey Gary, don't you think it's funny how Resident Evil games end up with this nightmare is over and it will never happen again? I don't know, all, all of the remakes of Resident Evil have just been like, this is just the beginning. <laughs> 
we need to take down Umbrella once and for all. I'm like, didn't didn't they already? Like, I know these are remakes, but <laughs> just feels just feels bizarre. Like, Umbrella's already gone. Like, Resident Evil Seven, Chris is working for Umbrella, like a reformed company. <laughs> Uh, no, I think we will need to uh, upgrade, uh, power up the um, the station over here. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, the bench. Ooh, the bench. That did it. I'm benching. Yeah, we didn't have to share. You said we had to share. We're okay. Can we? Can we both use it? Can we? Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, I've got a scavenger bot that's returned. I didn't even know I had a scavenger bot. I think I might have loaded in a. Maybe it's a an old save and it's just remembering stuff. I don't know. I know I, I definitely clicked on a, a new save. Okay, I've got stuff in my uh, safe inventory, so it's weird. Yeah, let's get that tutorial. Um, I so got? yeah, I've got a compact elite planet cracker with rotating cuff module. Yeah, I've got upgrade circuits as well. It's weird. It's kind of half remembering the previous playthrough, I think. That's that's fine. Um, I can sell some stuff, which I'm gonna sell some of these small med packs because I've got way too. Many. Yeah, I just cleaned out my inventory a little bit. I'd probably do that a little bit more. Got some somatic gels as well. Um, I don't want to craft items. How do we sell our Y button? Yeah, sell yeah, all no of these. No, no, uh, no upgrades, no nothing. And let's stash some of those. Oh, tungsten torque bar, that's what we get. Tungsten to, torque bars, um, yeah. That's what we'll need to open yeah. specific specific doors, and they'll probably have better weapon upgrades. Yeah, and you need tungsten and scrap metal to get it. Right. Alright. With a line gun for now. Uh, the uh, plasma cutter. Yeah. Yeah, well, it won't be for a few more chapters before we'll start being able to create unique weapons. Uh, I'd quite like to get the uh, the force gun again. <laughs> My shotgun. Grenade launcher. Shotgun grenade launch combo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can make it. If you can dream it, you can make it. Yeah. I even think there's uh, Molnir, um, Thor's <laughs> hammer is in the game as well. Uh, have you seen the uh, the drinking game that Ian's proposed? Gary, you should do a, a shot of Jack every time. <laughs> every time, uh, every headshot Nella makes, <laughs> that could be a lot. <laughs> Does that include stamping on their heads as well? <laughs> <laughs> you got that! <laughs> Here's a door. Just, oh, well, I think I picked up something then. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tutorial on uh, dismemberment. That still freaks me out when they come running at you so fast. <laughs> I mean... Uh, Ian's proposed a headshot, but you don't want a headshot in this game. You've no, you want limbs. to shoot off the legs, shoot off the arms. <laughs> shooting off the heads does nothing. As a matter of fact, shooting off the heads of some of these creatures just antagonizes them more. <laughs> oh. Nice. Still got me. Shiny, a, a CAF artifact here. Yeah? Ooh, yeah, it's not 
it's just a head uh, a, a med pack for me. Um, like I say, I might be remembering. Um, I think. I mean, even though this is on a fresh save, it seems to be remembering other saves or other playthroughs. Like, the save system in this game is completely different to the previous two. You, you, you first. <laughs> I don't want to go! <laughs> You're the badass. You're the soldier. What? You're always an engineer. Yeah, but you, you like... Didn't you do this? You know, face these things before? I'll fix you up when... Uh, when you broke. Stick a needle in your you eye? Again. <laughs> Tutorial on dismemberment. Fun for the whole family. <laughs> Coming soon from NB Games. So wants us to go through there. Ah. Just collecting scrap metal at the moment. Up oh, behind you. I wasn't afraid. So uh, there's um. Rate of fire circuits. Does anybody remember the uh, the Xbox Connect? <laughs> <laughs> is it is it been, uh, been been long enough now that people have forgotten about it? <laughs> I have got the Xbox Connect right next to me. <laughs> um, they did do. Uh, an interesting feature with this game, with the Kinect, actually. Uh, hey, Vandal, how's it going, dude? Um, where, if you had the uh, Kinect on, and you have uh, Necromorph sort of grabbing on to you, and you have to do the tap A animation, you know, spam to get it off, if you screamed, get the off of me, uh, your character would shake off the Necromorph. Um, there was a lot of audio commands that you could give, like... Um, if you said like, "Yeah, fuck you too," like your character would then just stomp on the necromorph <laughs> without you having to press the button. I was like, "That was cool, you know, cool way of incorporating it." All right, just 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 count up how many times you uh, you get headshots, and I'll uh, I'll do all the jack shots afterwards. <laughs> I think I'll just down the bottle afterwards. <laughs> I feel like the number's going up from sixty-nine. <laughs> right. <laughs> You'd buy that for a dollar, Ian. <laughs> I'm just kind of glad that these fans aren't moving right now. For now. <laughs> you know they're going to be moving. I'm on the other side. I'm opening the door. I'm leaving that. <laughs> Going up. Partner needs more space. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> Partner needs more Remember space. Social distancing. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fill that dead space. This is why we're doing the co-op room because they've eased the lockdown a little bit. So <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. That's it. The SOS is coming from directly above me, and it looks like I found the ship's primary generator. If I can get power going, it should unlock the crossover for you. All right. What about you? There's an elevator here that goes straight up the spire. I'll meet you at Ellie's coordinates. <laughs> hey Luke Lags, <laughs> Gary, I have a problem. I've been watching off the shelf reviews so much that YouTube has started to send me British advertisements. <laughs> That's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cheers, cheers, cheers for watching though, Luke. Uh, yeah, and what's your favourite British advertisement? Because I think I only get American adverts on, on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do here. So it's blue, glowing, stasis. We drag it down. Oh. Oh, we stasis in. Oh, no. I um, I think we need to two-man job it. It's slightly different. Uh, so if you hold that down, you, if you drag it down and hold it, I'll spin the blue, the wheel. 
Oh, I can hear necromorphs. I see them. No, oh, they're jumping up high. Nice stasis. Either shoot fast or die quick. Uh, I go to the other side now? Oh, uh, we haven't done this one yet. We, we, did we not finish it? No. Uh, the uh, the thing needs to stay lowered until it's fully active. Okay. There we go. Which way are you going? Uh, uh, more necros, yeah. Behind us. Ah, I knew he was coming. Oh, I didn't want to die. Couple of semiconductors. I got some bullets. I'll, sp I'll bring this one down. You can uh, spin the wheel. Morphs. I could hear them. We know they're coming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me quit my line cutter first. <laughs> <laughs> Daydreaming Davy is Scottish and you hate getting British ads too. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we're done. We need to go and access the terminal. Hey, Isaac, you fixed something. Pretty sure it was Carver. <laughs> <laughs> rip and tear boys rip and tear <laughs> yeah oh it needs both of us to activate it oh yeah I can tear things off um, the necromorphs and throw them back Is waiting. Um, um, it says hold. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Robert Allen says, uh, Someday I start work, off the shelf plays in the background, then I get off work. <laughs> yeah, it's time. It's always the timing. Like, uh, Ian and I'd like to uh, to vary our streaming times every so often. Um, just, just, ah, I'll be a shot at. Uh, just so that, um, you know, there's. Everyone has different working schedules, and uh, we, we have, you know, viewers almost around the world. Um, so it's, uh, it's nice to mix up our streaming times every so often. Uh, make sure everyone uh, can uh, to, can join us in the chat. Nothing to do with that. I was working until four today. <laughs> no, 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 nothing to do with that. <laughs> Any progress? Uh, wasn't Carver the dude from Far Cry? I think he was, yeah. I think we're just waiting for the elevator. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> At least it wasn't, you know, the Mass Effect elevator. Yeah, I was just thinking Mass Effect. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks but Mass Effect elevator. elevator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, uh, Robert Allen. I, I kind of guessed what you were you were typing. <laughs> Ellie. Oh, sorry. I'm Ellie, I'm not Isaac. I don't care about Ellie anymore. <laughs> what? No, what? No, I'm here. Don't look. Awkward. Things went bad between Isaac and Ellie. Nah, 
now, now you know why I like Ellie. <laughs> She's so purdy. <laughs> <laughs> Carver just doesn't give a shit right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm going to save you, Carver. When push comes to shove, I might be the one doing the pushing. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ooh, plasma core. There's lots of stuff here. Just going to go and yeah. drop some stuff off at the bench. Oh, yes. That is the thing, isn't it? <laughs> Daydreaming Davey, you crack me up, dude. <laughs> Call the lift. Oh, is that even the way to go? Yeah. Uh, Axel Shadow, Gary, what do you think of the Resident Evil 3 remake compared to the original? Uh, like, like now it's been a little bit of time. And I, I haven't played Resident Evil 3 in four, five, I, a, a month now. I'd play, I've forgotten how long it's been. Um, if I if ever I was going to replay Resident Evil 3, I'll play the original. Uh, I liked the remake. It was fine. It's just... It wasn't... It wasn't the full game I was hoping for. They... They removed more than they added. No worries, Robert Allen. I uh, hope you have a good weekend, dude. Take it easy. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, so yeah, Resident Evil 3 was, was pretty disappointing. Uh, it did come with uh, Resident Evil Resistance, though. Yeah. Um, I still think I'll, I'll go back and play some more Resident Evil Resistance, or I, I thought I was going to, um, but I never did. I guess that says about as much of that. <laughs> Not good. Uh, maybe they'll add some more content to the Resident Evil Resistance in the future. Nice work. We just got busy playing tabletop though, didn't we? We did, yeah. We got busy playing tabletop. I didn't have much time to play it. Um, I did intend to play it. I even intended to stream some Resident Evil Resistance. Uh, but yeah, I just I didn't get round to it. And I didn't think it'd be that interesting for the stream either. I think, didn't think you guys would be too into it. Um, but you never know. Yeah, you know, I I really adored the uh, the Resident Evil Two remake though. I thought that was really good, and I think that was why I was hoping for so much more with Resident Evil Three. Oh, he got me! Oh no! Oh, he rushed me. Isaac's dead. Why is it game over for me? <laughs> <laughs> I got torn in half. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Up, oh, stuck on the scenery. I'm dragging it down. <laughs> Having to manually hit X that like in the middle of the reload to so start reloading on its own. Yeah. Really off putting. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I missed that one completely. Oh. Reloading! Alright, I'm dragging it down. Get ready to spin the wheel. <coughs> I'm spinning. Hey, hello, Crazy88. You're off to a party. Awesome, dude. Well, I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and thanks for dropping by. It's all clear back there? No. no.
Yeah. Reloaded. Nice. Got All right, I'm dragging it down. I'm spinning. We got it. I, I think I we can run. It. Let's I run. It. I'm heading to the door. Ah, I'm running. Do door's opening. Let's go. Oh, shit. There's a ladder. I'm, I'm heading away. down the ladder. No, you no, keep fighting. No. <laughs> I'm dead, mate. What? Yeah. You <laughs> 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 Well, we had to get out of there. <laughs> Why would you bail? So, somebody had to go down the ladder first. <laughs> Clear the room! <laughs> well, there's was, was like one necromorph. There was not. <laughs> well, there was before I got on the ladder. <laughs> Can confirm more than one necromorph. Did anybody else see that? No. <laughs> Changing weapons. Loving it, I'm dying. <laughs> uh, spinning the wheel. Oh, I don't think we got it. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I saw oh, it. Uh, it is the uh, the B button, Dan, to uh, to quick heal or to, you know to use your med med. Yeah. Uh, dragging uh, yeah. it down. Oh, did we not get that? I thought we got it. Hey, uh, Carver as well. I uh, didn't <laughs> didn't uh, give you a shout out earlier. That's uh, Carver six 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 one three one three thirteen thirteen, and the number of the beast. There is, there is a dodge button. Uh, when I can remember. Yeah, uh, right, bu uh, left bumper. Oh! I got fired three lots of stasis at that guy and missed them all. Okay, here we go. Gary, the needs of the many. <laughs> go, go, go! Open that door. <laughs> you get down the ladder. I'll hold. I'll hold the regard. No, I killed it this time. Oh, oh I will. This time. bunch of stuff down here. What did I say? Fans are now rotating. Yeah. Oh, that's the guy I left earlier. <laughs> He's still alive. Let's get a stasis recharge. Yeah. Right. Someone in the way. Stasis and I'm good. And stasis and I'm good. I didn't know how long that was going to last. <laughs> no. <laughs> End up, you know, as I was coming past. <laughs> yeah. I need to, uh, I'm definitely going to upgrade the uh, stasis when we get to another bench. Actually, we need it, uh, I think it's a, uh, it's, it's the rig we need to upgrade. Yeah, I haven't seen one of them yet. And I, I, don't we need power nodes for the rigs? Hey, Jay. <laughs> Guess what I watched, uh, Mr. J. Hines. Ozark season three. Ozark season three, yeah. <laughs> now I uh, I watched Inside because um, I couldn't go a day without somebody asking me if I'd seen it yet. <laughs> um, and yeah, I uh, it was fine. It was it was a fine film. Oh uh, hey B, thank you very much for the uh, for the one ninety nine. Um, I can't quite see the message. It's um, one second. Uh, what have I got to do? Oh, access denied. 
I, I was on there. Uh, I dreamed Ian and I were fighting over Kurt motherfucking Russell. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, press A and then yeah, A. Yeah. I was doing it the first time. Yeah. I don't know why it wasn't doing it. I just think it's awesome, B, that you uh, you had a dream with uh, Kurt motherfucking Russell in it, and Ian. Was it a dream or a nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this door opened up. Yeah. Officer's <laughs> dead. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, so inside was, uh, I think it was 2007, and it's uh, a French horror movie um, about a pregnant woman who's literally, like, she's due to give birth the very next day, and uh, about three months before that, uh, she was in a car crash, which her husband or boyfriend died. Um, and then she goes home, like, at, three months later, she goes home. She's going to give birth the next day. And a psychotic woman turns up in her house and torments her the entire night. And typical of uh, French horror movies, it's bloody awful. <laughs> There's... It, it, there's lots of lots of impalements with sharp objects, lots of gratuitous bodily harm, and lots of rooms getting painted red. Like you could imagine Dexter Morgan coming in here and just going, "Nope," and walking right back out again because <laughs> of the blood yeah, patterns. <laughs> oh wow, nice. Isaac's having a moment. I am. Um... Hey, Mongo Mongo. Yes, I have seen uh, Justice League's uh, Dark Apocalypse. It was very good. Very, very, very good. Oh, B, thank you very much again uh, for your second donation. It was a nightmare because Ian won his heart. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ian in his seduction abilities. He wooed Kurt Russell. Hey, I'm here for what? Some sort of alien device. Right? Stuart Schaefer, after seeing Inside, I saw Inside Out. <laughs> Are you so ugly? <laughs> <clears throat> Did I find it disturbing? Not really, Jay Hines. I've I've seen some of the sickest, most twisted things on the internet. Like when the internet became a thing, there were lots of websites um, that I don't even know if they exist anymore. If anyone can even remember the names of them, that just shown like it was like the faces of death, you know. Um, when I lived in a shared house, like at the age of 17, 18, like we would all just get really drunk and uh, and just watch Faces of Death. You know, it's just like, ha, ha, let's just let's watch these things. And we're like, that can't be real. Oh, that does look real. Oh, it's horrible. But, you know, and I've seen quite a few French horror movies uh, and Italian horror movies with extreme body horror, gore, nastiness. Uh, so it... It, you know, watching gore in films, I'm not that squeamish. Not really. Um, we tracked down a scrapped transport shuttle. It's called the Crozier. If we can get it spaceworthy again, we can use it to reach the planet's surface. No chance. We find the shuttle, then we're getting the hell out of here. Damn it, Robert. If we don't stop the markers, there won't be anything to go back to. Either way, it looks like the shuttle's our only shot. Where is it? Bigger ship of the fleet. The Terra Nova. Well, they must have had some way to travel between ships. There's a way, we'll find it. Uh, so, so yeah, with inside, it was, it was, it was visually, it was, it was fine. Like, 
I, I can't fault the movie. Like, I had some issues with some of the music choices. Like, when the jump horror moments were happening, the music just sounded very scratchy. Like, it was trying to jolt you. Um, I found the, So I found the music, it was okay, but then in places it was annoying. The performances were fine. What I have issues with inside is there was no... There was no real character development. I didn't I didn't really care for any of the characters in the film. And the twist I saw coming... I mean, it's not even really a twist, but the final beats of the film I saw coming a mile away. Um, I didn't think any of the performances were stand out. I didn't find it terrifying or frightening. Um, you know, I, I, I said earlier in the, uh, in the year, I really enjoyed um, The Invisible Man uh, for, for that kind of anxiety and fear of being watched and stalked inside was just like being hit by a sledgehammer you know and um so it was it, it was fine like i i enjoyed watching the scenery just slowly turn blood red <laughs> um and and some of the practical effects were fantastic uh but as a story i didn't really think much of it there wasn't really a story to tell um and any characters that turned up in the film were often or not killed off almost instantly um, and I didn't care for the main character, and the, and the killer was 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 fine. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's a film I would only half recommend if you were interested in that kind of, you know, bloody gory French horror movie with a, a home invader. What's scrap metal about? Wasn't too much here for me. Oh. <laughs> Someone at the door, Gary, get it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I just wanted to borrow a cup. Uh, I just wanted to borrow a. Uh, I just wanted to borrow some sugar. I'm still pressing the A button. I can't even see what's going on here right now. I just kept stamping him. I don't know <laughs> if I, could, I couldn't tell. Oh, hey, Carver. Thank you very much for the uh, for the donation. Um, the number is... Oh, oh, I'm still being attacked. <laughs> this always happens to me. Who listed the donation? <laughs> Rude. There's another one. Another one. Damn it. Right. You were saying, Gary. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the number is from uh, back when phone sex lines still existed and had suggestive numbers and I wanted to do a metalhead parody instead of girls in lingerie. <laughs> well, yeah, 666 1313. It, it doesn't make me think of um, sexy hotlines, though. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, just see, I just see what I want to see. <laughs> Uh, what character am I? I am I'm uh, John Carver. You see, with the uh, beady red glowing eyes. <laughs> I'm generic. I'm generic soldier boy number thirty-seven. And Dan is playing as Isaac. At least I get to see Isaac, you know, from a different perspective. You're gonna see Carver from a different perspective as well. Uh, which way do you want to go? In? Uh, let's just go this way. Okay. Sounded like the predator was hiding back there. I think the necromorphs would get it. <laughs> nah, I, I I can say sex um, on 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 these streams. It's uh, it's only if I show explicit kind of sexual acts <laughs> that uh, YouTube will uh, demonetize us. But I mean, YouTube often or not demonetizes these videos for one reason anyway. It's called dead space, and YouTube's like, it's dead? You can't say dead. Instant demonetization. It's like, can't Resident Evil? Instant demonetization. Why? Because it's got evil in the title. It's like, so stupid. So so stupid. Oh, bench. Uh, Axel Shadow says, Gary, do you find it disturbing how Winnie the Pooh 
is the alcoholic version of a bear. He's always eating honey like a slob and wears a shirt too small for him and never wears pants. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just a slob. <laughs> we still love him, though. I can't remember with the circuits. If I put them in, can I take them out again later? Yes, I think you can. Uh, yeah, Jay Hines, um, it takes uh, quite a lot to disturb me. I'm, you know, I am disturbed. <laughs> uh, say floppy sausages. Floppy sausages. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say to you there, Gary. <laughs> you can do anything for money. <laughs> Dan, would you like some sausages? <laughs> Dan, would you like some sausages? <laughs> Got a reload uh, thing in there. It's gonna go drop that off yeah, the bench now. I imagine gonna go put it into the <laughs> the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get super weapons like you. <laughs> I got basic weapons. <laughs> yeah, the game the game did it popped up when I in, uh, loaded the game up for the first time. It was like, hey, you played Dead Space one and two. Have some free stuff. It's like, oh, okay. I do like when developers do that in games, though. Uh. uh there's a few games like that. I know Gears of War does that a lot. That, that's right, Ian. He who shall not be named does disturb me. <laughs> oh, suit. Time to oh, what? Up. Did I just walk right past it? <laughs> wow. Upgrade rig. What do we need? Um, Health, stasis. oxygen, stasis. Yeah, like stasis duration. Tungsten, scrap metal, transducers is what we need. Um, what did you recommend, sorry? Um, maybe stasis duration, so when you freeze them, they I, stay frozen longer. I don't have any extra, I don't have enough for stasis, because you need transducers and tungsten. Okay, yeah. Um, kinesis I can upgrade. Uh, I'm just going to take some health for now. Uh, I, I always remember, um... At a, at a young age, uh, obviously renting a lot of movies, I'd seen, you know, a lot of horror movies, where, you know, like in my early years. And at, at the age of around nine or ten, I may, may have been just a little bit older. I, I honestly can't remember the age. I remember my dad giving me Hellraiser and Hellraiser 2. And he said to me, uh, you've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> And so, yeah, very young me seeing uh, those those films was uh, <laughs> amazing. Uh, so, yeah, I've got some um, transducers. It's, uh, I had a couple, but not enough to, um, to upgrade anything. So I can upgrade that one there the once. Um, the rig. You were given Hellraiser. I was given a Resident Evil. Originally <laughs> about six, seven years old. I tried to play the game. And I'd read the manual, and I'd gone to shoot, you know, with the R2 back in the day, and it didn't tell me that I needed to hold R1 to aim. So I'm the first zombie I'm coming up against, I'm trying to shoot it. He ate my face, and I went, nope, never played it. <laughs> oh, I never no. played the Resident Evil ever again after it. <laughs> it traumatized me as a kid. I just, I just didn't touch it. <laughs> now I watch Gary play them instead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jay, uh, Gary, have you seen Grotesque? No, I haven't seen that one. I've not heard of that one either. Tells me you're waiting at the door. I'm like, I can, I can, I can see that game. It doesn't let me activate if you're not close enough. I don't think. Well, I think we're heading back out into space. Hey, Matthias. How's it going, dude? And Adam's family, how's it going? Oh wait, um... Ah, oh, it won't let me drop it off here. Oh, we're in space. I'm flying! So I've, I've got one of those, um... Uh, those robots that you can deploy to go and get you, uh, supplies. Right. So I'm just following the, the tracker to try and figure out where it needs to go, but it's not. It's coming from the research vessel CMS Greeley. This should be really up, important. down, left. If I get a chance, I'll check into it, Santos. Isaac out. Uh, 
Seems to be inside the ship for some reason. Gary, it's uh, the one film still banned in the UK to this day. Ah, okay. Well, there we go then. Where are we heading to? Oh, over there. Yeah, just getting some air. Go stretch your legs. Yeah, I'm not into torture porn. <clears throat> Excuse me, torture porn. That's just... You know, I'd... I like my grindhouse, so I, I do like exploitation movies, you know, it's, um, I don't, you know, I don't watch them all the time, but I, I very much enjoy them. I'm just going to take the back seat here. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like torture porn. It's, you know, I, I think Saw, the Saw movies are, you know, it's almost torture porn, I guess it's in that, that category, uh, but it has good storytelling. I hate torture porn that's torturous and violent and gory for the sake of it without actually having anything meaningful to say. Um, we'll skip the Greeley side mission for now and uh, yeah, we'll do uh, Terra Nova. If we uh, go to the Terra Nova, I think we'll be able to get you our first scavenger bot. <laughs> this bit has not aged well. <laughs> I always like these flying around in space sections. It, no, visually, it does not look great. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I still haven't seen Wolf Creek 2 either. I saw the first one. I never bothered with the second one or the TV series. Uh, the first one I thought was pretty good. Uh, I, think I've, I think I've seen the first one twice. Um, I remember watching it with someone who... Uh, I think on the, well, I was watching it with someone and uh, she asked me to turn it off. Um, because it uh, it was too horrifying for her. She was having a a bad time watching it. I was like, yeah, I, I can understand. It's it's quite effective. Especially when you find out it's based on a, a kind of a true story as well. Uh, but yeah, I I did see. Uh, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of Wolf Creek 2 memes and 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 uh, and chat on on our Discord lately about it. <laughs> so <clears throat> um, I'm sure I'll get around to watching it pretty soon. Ian's criticizing my driving. <laughs> obviously never saw me play Burnout. <laughs> you missed that conversation. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Gary, have you played Days Gone? Uh, is was that the motorcycle um, uh, zombie zombie game? I believe so. I think so. Yeah. No, I, I didn't play it. Uh, I think it was a PlayStation exclusive as well. It may have come to PC. I, I don't remember it. Um, I remember all the reviews for it were were really bad. If, that, if that's the one I'm thinking, it is. Um, and so that was enough to make me go, oh, okay, I'll, I'll not bother. The guy who committed those murders, which Wolf Creek was based off, died recently. Good. <laughs> you know, I, I'm one of those that believes all life is sacred, but some people in this world. It's like some old country and western music playing. It's like truckers in space. <laughs> I mean, I've always imagined Isaac as a space trucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just seeing that blue light. I'm like, what is it? What is it? Yeah, there was something in there. Initiate bypass. Okay. Uh, oh, it's the hacking from the Isaac. Game. Run a bypass. Try not to electrocute yourself. Axel Shadow, yeah, you're in, is it that one? Yeah, you think you said it's a good game. Um, I'll, like I said, I, I don't, I don't play PlayStation that much. I really don't like the PlayStation controller. I will whinge, bitch, and moan throughout the entire time. I might be playing the best game ever made, but if I'm playing with a PlayStation controller, I'm gonna have a bad time. <laughs> 
Every sperm is sacred. You're right, Matthias. <laughs> so don't go wasting them. Sock must be uh, very sacred then. <laughs> Socks are havens. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> it's too quiet. It's too quiet right now. Yeah, you know I'm something. <laughs> I am literally on the edge of my seat. <laughs> well, the, ga the game's gone quiet. You're talking about socks again. The game's like, <gasps> shh. Huh? Stole that from me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> jump. That freaked me out a little bit, yeah. I was like, what the hell is that? I can't see nothing. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh, oh, partner needs more space. I think it's calling you fat. Fucking give me a username. Yeah, it took you months to get used to the PS3 controller. <laughs> yeah. It, it's basically, it's all about that, uh, you know, the analog placement. Like, this one is, is fine, but this one here is the one, you know, and having them both here instead, yeah, there instead, like here and here, I just get, I just get hand cramps so badly. Looks like Isaac's just taking care of business. I'm just gonna go exploring. <laughs> they gave me explosive barrel. Ah! Oh! I got ya. It's not like the last one. When they get froze midair, they they keep the momentum and they'll still hit you. I don't know if they do the same amount of damage, but uh, when they're <laughs> like hurt. I don't know. <laughs> Seagull King says it's pouring rain and there's a double uh, rainbow in the sky. Awesome! I need help here. I can't wait for it to rain. Like today, it's been a lot cooler today than it has been for the last two weeks or so. So I'm hoping some of that stormy weather comes this way. Today has been red hot for me. It's been a bit warmer than it has been. And tomorrow is going to be glorious. I'll be in Again. the pool with the kids tomorrow. Ugh, I'm just gonna sit here in my own sweat. <laughs> oh, behind you! We definitely need to upgrade our weapons soon. These enemies are taking uh, taking a few more shots to go down. Yeah. Hey, Mike Hayes, welcome to the chat. Thanks for dropping by. I'll go down here, I guess. Uh, you always hated the Xbox controllers, like. I, really? I, re I really didn't like the Generation 1 Xbox controllers, like the ones that were built for giants, you know, because they were massive controllers. Duke. Yeah. Uh, I also didn't like the, uh, I think it was the GameCube controller, the one that had three handles. It was just like, how do you hold it? Like, <laughs> didn't, didn't like that one. Axel Shadow, they need to make a horror game where the main protagonist is a comedian and makes fun of everything. Now, I, I think that's an, it's a cool concept, but what I would like, it's like like for me with, with, with Dead Space, where I find it hilarious where if you complete it on the hardest difficulty setting and you unlock the, uh, the, the foam hand and Isaac goes through the whole game just going pew, 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 bang, 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 every time he shoots something. <laughs> And like that that just makes the whole game hilarious. <laughs> uh but yeah, I, I think if you have a comedian in the game like joking all the way through it, it can really it can really uh, dampen the horror. Uh, and, and and it wouldn't be a horrible a horror game anymore because your character needs to be experiencing kind of what you're experiencing as the gamer. What I would love is something like like say some take something like Resident Evil. You know, you complete it multiple times and then you unlock, like, a whole new script for the game where the characters just crack, crack jokes all the way through it and they're just like, you know, they just take the mick out of everything. But, like, that would be, like, a, you know, a reward for completing the game. Like, 
You don't want that as part of the base game. You don't want that as part of the base game because then it's it's just not a horror game. It, it's a, it's a comedy. But I'd love the idea of having that as an extra extra bit of content. Um, yeah, I think that's I'm, a really I'm cool idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you break them? Yeah, you can. Well, at least now it can't surprise us, right? Oh, it's the exploding ones. Ah, oh, freeze him. Ah, oh, missed. Uh. Freeze it, freeze it. Another one behind. I got him. I've had a lot of problems. I mean, still speaking of uh, controllers, um, I, I had I had about three or four uh, Xbox 360 controllers, and I never really had that much of an issue with them. But Xbox One controllers, I've gone through about six or seven of them, and they all break on me. Like I'm, I'm, I'm very careful. I try to look after my controllers, but the uh, the analog sticks they just start to lean in one direction. So you'd just be, you know, you'd leave the controller, and your character would just be walking off in one direction. Or, you know, the the I uh, literally my last controller, I've had to sellotape down the right side buttons because I was playing Dead by Daylight too much. I was holding that right button and then I lifted my finger away and the, literally that button just came away with my finger. So it's like these controllers are just falling apart. I've, I've had three or four break and it's always been the left and right bumpers. Left uh, and right bumpers, yeah. the older version where they were like separate and it was like a tiny little bit of plastic that was keeping it there. Yeah. And it was just so prone to, so prone to breaking. Uh, spam the A button, I've been grabbed by the little ones. Stasis, stasis and shoot. Oh, I even fast. You need that. I know, I really want to make it so badly. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. Pick me up. Save me. Nice. Whew. In my case, Bill Paxton humor in the game would be awesome. <laughs> Drop your linen and start your grinning. Found him. <laughs> Engine. Uh, the game history of the GameCube controller was awesome, Gary. Your all-time favorite. Uh, I think you're thinking of the terrible N64 controller. The Atari Jaguar controller. Uh, controller. Controller is a sin against God. <laughs> um, I mean, I grew up on the on the ZX Spectrum and and you know those old consoles with like numerous amounts of joysticks. <laughs> uh, so I mean. I, I've, I've had my share of awful controllers. I will still say the Xbox One controller is my favorite. Or, or you yeah, know, af after the Xbox 360 one. Uh, did that, that save? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I lost I, I my got... temper a couple of times with uh, with games. And uh, I, I took my, my controller and I, I threw it out the window. <laughs> I was like... I'm done with this. I'm done with this controller. I'm done with this game. <laughs> done. I, I've never broken a controller, never thrown one in anger. Uh, yeah, I, I, growing up, you know, out of my teens. It was too expensive. <laughs> yes, yeah, very expensive. <laughs> um, but I mean, I, I've, been, I've been very chilled the last, I don't know, however long now. I, I don't throw controllers anymore. I still rage. <laughs> uh, but I just don't throw controllers anymore. I'll try and take his legs out. Oh, he's opened up anyway. I'm just going to cover the left side for a second. Ah, uh, a... oh, I've been grabbed as well. Yeah. Reloading. Get off me. There's a stasis recharge right behind us. Ooh. Got a new gun. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if it's any good or not. I got a new gun. Was it a whole gun? Was it a part? I built it. <laughs> oh. Oh, power node. Oh, upgrade circuit. Oh. Uh. Uh, 
Oh, I'm stuck on the doorway. Oh, he hit me with his axe. Ah, what am I getting hit? Oh, the little phone. Nope. Oh, that was weird. Oh, wow. You've, uh, is that the line gun you've made? I don't know what I made, <laughs> but I made it. Um, Try the alternate fire on it. It is just that uppercut. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's very good. It said four. And I thought I'd got the force gun. I was like, yeah. And I was keeping it quiet just so then I could get away with the jealousy. Where it didn't work out like I wanted to. No. You can see the tracks from there. Thanks, Buckle. I'll check it out. I'm going to now go forward. Oh, tungsten. Somatic gel. Oh, yeah, it reminds me. I was talking about Soma about an hour ago. <laughs> Soma was an awesome game. It was a, <coughs> a walking horror simulator. <laughs> but there was so much more going on in that game. Like, yeah, okay, the gaming sections weren't, you know, there was a couple of moments where you had to run and hide and, and, and get away from the monster. Uh, but it, it, it was it was a cerebral experience. It was a really thought-provoking, engaging uh, game that really made you question like your own beliefs and feelings towards what was happening in that world um, you know it was it was one of the most compelling and thought provoking games I think I've ever played is Soma uh, just you know it, it's it, it, it hits you on an emotional level and on an intellectual level that often left me stumped for words I couldn't even articulate how it made me feel, except that I borrowed very, very heavily from Soma into my own kind of uh, Dungeons and Dragons stories, uh, which is obviously I'm, I'm doing a sci-fi uh, zombie survival scenario. And so uh, I'm pretty sure nobody in my player group has played Soma, so they didn't really realize how much I'd borrowed from it. <laughs> um, and then when the, when the twist occurred to them in the game, uh, watching their reactions was was fantastic because that was it, they emulated partially how I felt when I'd played Soma. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I I can't uh, Soma. I highly highly rate it. If anybody's ever that's why I'm trying to stay you know spoiler free for it uh, because it's definitely one of those games that you need to experience for yourself. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, uh, I I highly recommend it. I play that after Dead Space 3. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing Dark Souls after Dead Space 3. Um, but I, I might put up a, a poll um, on the Discord or on the Patreon um, and uh, and see a, a list of games. All potentially will be played at some point, but whatever the order is, um, I might let you guys decide. Josh was quoting Monty Python. There was comments had been blocked previously by some. Well, I mean, yeah, Monty Python is um, it's quite old now, and <laughs> just, there's not many people wow. that it, it is. It, it is not many people know Monty Python anymore, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I guess it's sad, but because uh, I, I love Monty Python. I, I, uh, only uh, last year I rewatched all of the uh, Flying Circus on Netflix. You got a scavenger bot? A... Uh, I do. I got a pop up saying scavenger bot location nearby. It's definitely blinking nearby. But I think it's outside again. It's saying it's above. I did uh, send one off before. Cool. You can usually hear uh, like a, a mo like a, a motion tracker sensor sound going off. Um, would you like to do the puzzle? Yeah, I can hear it. Uh, is this a puzzle? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, you do that. I'll uh, I'm just I'll just deploy my scavenger bot. <laughs> Damn it! What do I do? I don't know. What <laughs> is. I'll tell you in a minute. I, uh, uh, yeah. I think you just basically got to match them up. 
I can't. Ah! Oh, yeah, that was good. I'm definitely not failing this on purpose, so Gary has to uh, fight that on his own. Uh, oh, your oh. partner has died. <laughs> <laughs> I was pressing heal. I was I was attacked from in front and behind at the same time. I was trying to protect you. Uh, I didn't do a very I, good job. Uh, I appreciate it. I also have right now a really itchy nose. <laughs> that didn't help either. I was even I was even quoting Monty Python to myself pre-stream uh, when I was uh, checking that the sound sync was was working, um, and I adjusted the uh, the uh, the milliseconds to five milliseconds off, and I was like five is right off, <laughs> three is the number. <laughs> Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, there's two of them behind you. I genuinely don't see this part. I'm sorry. Get off him! I'm failing, Garrett. I'm <laughs> no, failing. you're not. It's not working. There it is. <laughs> they did not match up. Die! You done yet, Isaac? Oh, there's more. I got two more to do. Where is it? I can't even. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was me being really bad, but it's hard to see that. What, to line them up? Yeah. Okay. I see the problem now. Someone left a bunch of cargo on the tracks. Can you clear it? I should be able to. I'll get to that shuttle and ask. Well, hopefully, I mean, the... The quicker you do it, the less enemies I have to deal with. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I also don't know if you can heal yourself while you're on there. That would help uh, give us some more time. I can't even see my health bar, so I don't know. Um, you're almost... Yeah, you're at full health right now. I'm hitting them all with stasis that come up behind you. Yeah, and if we do Dark Souls, we won't be the uh, we won't be Sun Bros. Oh, we'll, we'll be the Knights of Knee. Yeah, I I can't get to it. I'm trying. It's kind of standing like on you, like clipping right through you. So I was shooting it and you. Oh, nice, we did it. Ah. <laughs> yeah, Screamers was 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 a damn good film. Very good. There's another one coming down the other stairs as well. Ah, oh, missed him twice! Get him off! Get him off! Missed! <laughs> oh, I'm down! And um, we're both dead. Yeah, he ripped my head off. <laughs> You must take down every boss with a herring! Well, at least... 
Ow. Right, could I fight you now? Oh, it's the spinners. That's why we're dying. I'm down. I'm I'm in an animation. I can't get out of. I had I half mean, a health I bar. I hit my two spitters and I was. I couldn't do nothing. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> you must fetch us a shrubbery. <laughs> nee, nee. Ah, concentrate, focus. He still spat on me even though he just died. No! I get spat on again, all right. Nice. I'm down. I don't know. How, oh, I'm dying. I was. I just healed myself as well. Maybe they they do a lot more damage now with the acid spits. Maybe. The uh, the key I found is that. Ah! Was, uh, <laughs> you've been hit. Right. <laughs> Operation Carver Shield. Yeah. Ooh, dear. Okay. Well, we'll just forget that room ever happened, shall we? I don't think Isaac can ever forget anything. That's <laughs> here. I had so much I health kits earlier. <laughs> each chapter is a different nightmare every night. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jay Hines, you went for a slash and it looked very green. Should I be worried? Depends what you drank recently. <laughs> oh. Dr. Edwards. <laughs> But not today. <laughs> uh, hey, Anko V, uh, welcome to the welcome to the chat. First time uh, you've never had a chance before. That's awesome. So I got the heavy standard line gun and a hydraulic eviscerator. That's what I built. They're all very good. Hey guys, if you're running low on ammo, don't forget your kinesis module. Here, I found this recording when I was stuck on Titan Station. Oh, now is a good time to bring this up, Isaac. You could have mentioned this earlier, you know. <laughs> um. What? I was gonna say, why can't I move? Why is the music so intense right now? Uh, it's not for me. I'm, I've got a video playing. Yep. Like I've just got Wait, this heavy music. Like we're being attacked. <laughs> Telling me to use cases to impale people. There's nothing around to impale them with. <laughs> I need to get out of this room. The music's so intense. I'm like, calm down. Right, here we go. There's enemies. It justifies the intense music. Uh, Mongo, Mongo. There we go. The music stopped finally. I can hear myself think. <laughs> uh, Mike Hayes, Gary, if you got Robot Jocks on Blu-ray, picked up the German version on Blu-ray before it sold out. Uh, no, I've not heard of Robot Jocks. Um, but what I was going to say is uh, if somebody could put uh, a link to the Off the Shelf Reviews Discord in the chat, that would be that would be very good. Uh, Dan, I don't know if you could do that for us. I can do that real quick. Yep. Um, so yeah, if there's any of you guys in the chat right now and uh, you've not got Discord or you don't know what Discord is, it's um, it's a place for us to hang out and chat and talk about movies and TV shows and music and wrestling. Thank you, Dan, uh, and uh, and just have a laugh basically um, outside of the uh, the streams and and the film reviews. 
Uh, we're not all on there every day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And uh, Mongo Mongo, when are, when are you finished, Gary? Uh, we're going to be finishing about half past seven this evening, so we've got another 50 minutes. Well, that's gone fast. That's gone very fast. Uh, time flies when you've been mentally dropped off. <laughs> I ain't even seen a single toy soldier yet. Because <laughs> <laughs> you skipped the side <laughs> mission. <laughs> no, we'll be going back there. Okay. Oh, the regenerator! Bravely run away, away! <laughs> brave, brave Sir Robin! I'll let you throw that. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> Why did you let me throw that? I fucked it up real good! Because you weren't throwing it, you picked it up and let you throw it. Alright, he's down. His arms are off and he's under stasis. Let's. Ah! Uh, Already gone up the stairs. Yeah, there's another Necromorph right behind you. Yeah, I know. I left him up the stairs. <laughs> uh, hey, Nick Mateo. How's it going? Hope your Friday's going great. I knew you were coming. Yeah, definitely looking forward to a nice chilled weekend. I've got all the editing done. Well, almost all the editing done. I've still... Uh... Oh, I'm out of stasis. Damn, I need a recharge. Um, I've only got a little bit more editing to do. Uh, last couple of film reviews have been very long. I know you guys like the long long reviews, so uh, you got some good ones coming. Just once they get past the copyright, uh, you know, usual oh, story. Oh. Uh, Carver, you're actually looking for the Discord link in the channel description. But thought it might be only for Patreons. Was going to send something via the business email. That's probably more fitting. It's all good. No, pay, um, the Discord's for everybody. Um, it's it's a it's a great place for us to hang out with you guys and uh, and talk about movies. Or just you know, remind Jay that AVP two is not a good movie. <laughs> or Ian that Jaws one is better than two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He stasis, let's go. Nice, you got it. Hey, Laszlo UK, how's it going? Um, we need to summon the tram. Oh, I remember this part. Playing ring around the roses with this guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's some implements here to impale him with. Yay! I don't know if you took his arm off or... At least I think there's a stasis recharge back here, yeah. Oh wait, it's on a cooldown? Oh damn. Oh yeah, they go on cooldown. They never used to, did they? Wow, I don't think they'd used to in the other ones. Uh, there wasn't two people before, so... No worries Ian, you have a good weekend dude. I'll catch you, I'll catch you on Tuesday afternoon. Uh oh. Slow no. reloads. No, get him off. Oh, that sounded like the tram. Oh. I'm stuck. I can't move. I'm running away. I'm yeah, the tram's coming. The tram's here. The doors are opening. I'm on. I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> hit the button. Hit the button. Hit the button. Uh. I put my controller down, I couldn't hit the button. Activate, uh... <laughs> <coughs> we can only go midsection. Oh, that was intense. <laughs> okay, uh, I made it to the tram. Uh, Looks like it stops at the mid and aft station. The aft station... Uh, Jay Hines, you never responded to my predicament. Well, that would be the conning I, Are you talking about your green urine? <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, except see a doctor. 
Uh, Axel Shadow, Gary, you Indian should watch I Am a Hero. It's a fun, gory Korean zombie movie. Think a more action-packed train to Busan with lots of gore. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I need to check that one out. I've not heard of that one. I Am a Hero. Uh, hey, Guillermo uh, Perilla. Um, welcome to the chat. Uh, only thing good in the multiplayer, but abandoned its horror roots for something more mainstream and profitable. Definitely wasn't profitable, definitely wasn't mainstream, and definitely was the end of the franchise, yeah. Uh, Robot Jocks is an 80s movie with giant robots and human pilots fight for a country uh, without a war. It has Gary Graham, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I'll have to check out Robot Jocks. Uh, Tarman, you once watched Requiem with your eyes closed, and uh, I couldn't notice the difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you... Is it watching? <laughs> it is, it's a film you just listened to, right? They're like, oh, that sounded like the alien. How do you know? Because they use the same damn alien scream over and over and over again. <laughs> oh, I'm getting angry just thinking about it. Like, I was, I was chatting with Jess yesterday, and he was just like, yeah, AVP2 movies aren't bad. And I was like, if there were two fucking movies I could remove from fucking existence, it'd be the AV... Sorry, I get angry. <laughs> it would be the AVP movies. The AVP movies are the reason why we don't have an Alien 5. And I really wanted Neil Blomkamp's Alien 5. Like, I really did. And, uh, you know, when, when the AVP movies came out, James Cameron and Ridley Scott and Sigourney Weaver looked at those AVP movies and went, Ugh. Let's, uh... Let's leave that well enough alone. Like, <laughs> let's not go there. <sighs> yeah, alone the movie's being absolutely diabolically awful. With a few, a few good moments. Well, I, I, like I said, I said to Jez, I was like, it, you're picking out nuggets in a big pile of shit. <laughs> like, is it worth it? No. Uh, we can craft stuff, can't we? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's why I was just doing crafting some ammo. I need stasis packs. Create one of them. Uh, Conic Dispersal. That's a weapon, isn't it? Uh, Laszlo, you didn't want Blomkamp to bring Ripley back. Well, I mean... Oh, Conic Dispersal. Where did that come from? I just uh, picked it up at the top. Oh, well, I, th I think I got that as well at the same time. That's interesting. Yeah, when that one picks it up, um, we both got it. I mean, he's, he wasn't going to bring Ripley back, per se. I mean, it was going to be an alternate timeline. It was just going to be saying, okay, imagine this happened instead of Alien 3 in Resurrection. Uh, which I was fine, because he was res you know, respectful of the original two movies. He loves the three Alien movies. He's said many times. He's, you know... The, the two Alien movies were one of the reasons why uh, he got into making movies in the first place. Um... And, like, all of the production notes and everything that they were getting ready for Alien 5. You know, Lance Henriksen and uh, Michael Bean, Sigourney Weaver, all all on board. Um, you know, even Bill Paxton, bless him, uh, was just like, I, I want to roll too. Like, y you're dead. Like, you died in the film that they're continuing, so no. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I, I really wanted an Alien 5. And it, it would have been a nice what-if story. And I think they would have done it well. Uh, so it just makes me sad that uh, it's not happening. And now may never happen. Are we no, the uh, the original director of Alien, Ridley Scott, he did not do anything good uh, with that franchise. <laughs> there are a couple of videos on YouTube, like detailing the very few reasons why. <laughs> Got some necros. Oh. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna bring up the. Uh... Oh. 
You bring it up what, sorry? I'm going to the missions, and yeah, right now we're on the optional mission, which is locate Edwards. So there, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it came up in the bottom right saying optional yeah. mission. But yeah, you can literally um, toggle which missions you want to do. Uh, don't worry, Laszlo, I still like Prometheus 2. I like it as a movie. I detest it as an alien prequel. <laughs> <laughs> Human remains. Ugh. Beware. Trespassers will be blown to bits. It would have been fine if it wasn't to bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember this. I, I was like, shall I take one of these canisters with me? Like, no, after what happened last time. <laughs> I ain't touching it. You need to let go and drop it. Oh, explosives on the vent. Oh, wow. Well, he did say trespassers would be blown to bits. Now I can see why. Now I kind of want to shoot it. Well, I mean, <coughs> if any necromorphs are going to come through it, they're going to get blasted, so... I'd say leave it. Mm, okay. Let's say up there. Go back. Oh, go back. Hey. no! <laughs> uh oh, oh shit. Don't, don't get away from it. it, might explode. Oh, they weren't even armed before. Uh oh. He's playing that country music again. It's the most horrifying thing ever! I got no music. You can't hear the music? Nope. Why am I the only one hearing the country music? I don't know. Gary, one way to wreck on the Alien franchise is every mover after Alien 1 is a dream and Ripley is still in cryo sleep at the end of the first movie. Yeah. Something. Well, everyone always used to say that Alien 3 was like, oh no, it's just a cry of sleep nightmare. That's not really happening. And then when it, it almost became a possibility. Uh, you think Alien 3 is a bit of a fine wine now? Yeah, I, I, I used to, I used to hate Alien 3. Um, it took a while for me to really appreciate that that film. <coughs> you know, I was. I was, I was too in love with the characters to, to let them go. Um, and, you know, I, I think a lot of people still feel that way. Uh, it's, it's always hard to watch beloved characters die in horrible ways. Or even, you know, it was... It felt... It felt disrespectful. Alien 3. I mean, it still does feel disrespectful to what came before it in that regards. Um, but I, I still love the film, you know, it's, it's like uh, Day of the Dead for me, you know, a lot of people never used to like Day of the Dead and it always used to be night and dawn, but now a lot of people have come around on, on day and like me, it, it's my favorite zombie movie. You know, that, that film also didn't have the stigma of killing off, like, could you imagine if Day of the Dead started with, uh. Roger and Francine from uh, from the previous film just you know just just to being dead right at the beginning of Day of the Dead be like ah oh, 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 oh. fuck this movie <laughs> well, there's a thing here to hack cover me okay <laughs> the the the, uh, the zombie necromorph whatever the thing is he's stuck down there anyway I got it. Yeah, I don't like that I keep seeing something climb up into that vent and just jump up. Yeah, Seagull King. Yeah, I know. I, I never liked Alien yeah, 3. Like, it was... It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to let go of those characters. Uh, which is why Neil Blomkamp was just like, Hey, you know, I want to give, give those characters the ending they deserve. 
And, uh, you know, when he shown the, the script to Sigourney Weaver, she was just like... She didn't want to do Alien 5 because Joss Whedon had the script for Alien 5 right after Resurrection. And, you know, we could deploy our scavenger bots here, Dan. Um, and Sigourney Weaver read the script for Alien 5 that Joss Whedon had done, and she just said, I ain't doing it. No matter how much you pay me, I'm not doing it. I don't want to do another one that takes the story to Earth. Because she was like, that's just, it's, re it's a redundant story. It's not interesting. Um, she wanted to keep it in space or on an alien planet or, or go and visit the alien homeworld or take it to the next the next level instead of just doing a, a generic monster on earth story and that's why she backed out of it and we didn't actually get one um, but then yeah Neil Blomkamp said how about we do Alien 3 it's set 20 25 years after Aliens um, and then this this and this happens and obviously the, I don't think the scripts ever leaked out as to what it was going to be or could be but Sigourney Weaver signed up straight away when she saw the ending for those characters and she was like that's that's the that's the film we should make and then of course we don't really know what happened behind the scenes um because it was Ridley Scott going no 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 don't do alien 5 I'm doing alien covenant that's more important right now <laughs> what could have been you never know I, you never know we still might get alien 5 one day like it's up, to, it's up to Disney now. A scary thought. Yeah. No, I don't think Sigourney Weaver ever read the comics. I, t I know Sigourney Weaver watched Alien vs. Predator. <laughs> I think she might have even turned it off, though. She, uh, not, not a fan. It's just there. Uh, why can't... There we go. Do you want to shoot it? Nice. Yeah. That's fucking teamwork. Oh. I can't... I tried shooting it myself. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can stasis it. Like... No, I don't think you can either. Maybe. Let's say something on the floor. Go ahead, open it. Oh, awesome. It's inviting me to open it. Ooh, ammo. My ammo is full. My inventory is full. Whoa, so many med kits. Upgrade circuit here. Plus one reload and a plus one clip. Mm -hmm. Um. What, where, how? Might have popped up, I just didn't see it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, you can call it back up. No, no. You, you, you're fine. You go ahead. Oh, okay. You got this. <laughs> you go <got> for me. <laughs> There's so many. Use that explosive barrel. Whatever it is. Use it. Ah. I'm down. I need help. I, need, I require assistance. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to come down the lift. This is where the lift comes down on my head. Oh, I'm up. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a rave. I didn't say. Don't say I didn't warn you. I don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what did he not warn us about? I don't know. He said, "Open it. Come on in." Your funeral. <laughs> ah! He came out of the human remains box. Wow. That's what they call coffins in the future. <laughs> Keep refrigerated. 
They look like vending machines. <laughs> right? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. What? No. Oh. I'm starting to like this guy more and more now. I sort of remember at the end of this. Yeah, I don't think he's doing too well. Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he. he, he does too great. I will change that to be a reload and clip because reload is super slow on this weapon. Right. I don't no, have. Rate of fire that's I don't really have any attachments reload. for this gun. Yeah, I had to make my own. I went on new. Create my own. That's okay. I'll um. I'll collect some more parts, I think, before I start trying to make make a weapon. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize it cost me like a bunch of scrap metal. So. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of stuff. I uh, I like it. It cuts legs off real good. Oh, my my uh, ass. <clears throat> there's somewhere here. I can hear the noise for the scavenger bot, but I don't have any. Yeah, I don't either. I don't trust them. I don't trust anything in these games. <laughs> Not even the Garys. Nope. Yeah. Oh, so gonna get. Is that li that laser beam gonna kill them? I hope so. It's definitely keeping them pinned over there. Yeah, it's hurting them. I do. Got him. The headshot, <laughs> Gary. Take a shot. Oh no. <laughs> It was a good one as well. <laughs> oh, there's the thing it's over there. Limb. If you want to uh, shoot it. I'm gonna to... Yeah. Are I just good? don't want to shoot it with my big gun that right. takes a lot more ammo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll switch to my... Uh... Yeah. Single shot. Oh. I can... Is that below us? It's got to be. Yeah, he's below us. Oh. Can we activate this? Requires torque bar. He uh, He's coming up the vents. The... Oh, it's there. Yeah. Yeah, Paul Verhoeven. He'd he'd make an interesting director for a, for an alien movie. Um, you know, it would be pretty bloody gory and over the top. <laughs> um, as much as I like Paul Verhoeven, and Mo Verhoeven movies, he I don't think he's quite. I, I don't know. I, I you know I I love Star uh, Starship Troopers, but it's it's like a completely different type of film. To, to an alien film like if Paul Verhoeven was to do like Alien 5 like following on from Alien Resurrection I totally get it but it would just go against the tone and feel I think of um, of uh, of what what Cameron and Scott would have brought to it I think I've got the mats to go make a talk by if you want me to go back and uh, yeah if you've got the parts let's, uh, let's go and have a look I think so What was that to you? Down by me. I'm like, am I? I was like, am I hearing your sound effects from my own or? Oh no, there's up here. Well, I'm in the bench, so if they get me, I'm fucked. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm just going way up here. <laughs> I got a top. I got a tongue. Oh, you got one. Oh, very I good. I could have made two, but I only made one. Yeah, that's fine. I'll make the next one. Very good. Ooh, ammo. Ammo. Yeah, we will use it. Oh, you got to keep tapping B. Right? Oh, okay. I was just like, does it need both of us to do it, or...? It, um, I didn't know, but it did come up with a big B flashing saying, tap it. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't pay attention to that. That corpse just moved then, or was that just me? 
Well, he ain't moving now. Well, I guess. <laughs> oh. Uh, rotator cuff module. Yep. Copy that. Uh, there's an upgrade circuit as well. With some tungsten. A reload oh, and a rate of fire. Plus one rate of fire. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. And the scavenger bot is now waiting at the bench. Typical. Okay. Oh, so say we just have to shoot that one. That was pretty straightforward. Oh, oh I need... need me. Not for that one. <laughs> Heading into the engine room. Ah, oh, be careful! He can flip the gravity and burn us. And yeah. This looks like, uh, I think we're going to get mobbed in here. Oh yeah, I mean, there's uh... I'm Time to face the music. I'm going to set off the C4 on the thing. Uh, Axel Shadow says, Gary, you should be leaving because it'll be dark soon. And the Necromorphs mostly come out at night. Mostly. <laughs> yeah. Artifact discovered. Well done, Gary. Ah, it was glowing. <laughs> it was unmissable. Stop screwing around. I don't want to die. I'm sorry. Computer, arm explosives. No, and don't do it. Oh, oh, everything's exploding. Something I don't quite like about this game is the, uh, the Necromorphs. Some of them, they're despawning almost immediately after you've killed them. Is it, are you noticing that? Uh, yes, I have. When the, if there's too much um, too body many parts on the ground, they just go immediately. Yeah, oh god, the exploding ones. Nah, how much I hate them. Two more. Got another one. He ran past me to get you behind you, Garrett. Oh. I'm just doing circles around the room at the moment. Oh. <laughs> Take that. Two of them rushed me. I hit him with my hammer. Very good. Ah! Oh shit, there's three of them behind me. Yeah, I got two here. I'm out of health packs. Oh, I got loads, dude. Um, I don't know if I can share. Right, there might now. be a few just lying around. Yeah, I just picked up one. Um, I got about twelve. Um, oh wow, actually I have a ton of health packs. What am I thinking? All right, okay. I was just pressing the button and it wasn't using them. <laughs> um, do we have to do something here? Uh, yes, I think so. Oh, do we have to connect? Looks straightforward enough. I literally just hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Nicely done, Isaac. Uh, thank you. The reward, help me get Ellie back. That is your mission. Okay. You think there's a chance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've seen your comp <laughs> I've seen your competition. He is handsome. It's time to face the music. Sweet chin music. Gary, are you getting underwater when it comes out? Uh, yeah, I might pick up the uh, the Blu-ray. Um, I, I quite enjoyed the film. I uh, wouldn't mind seeing the special features, the commentary. Oh no.
Hmm. Generator is offline. Do we need it offline or online or? Yeah, we. For the uh, way it put oh, okay. the gravity upside down. I I enjoyed underwater. Yeah, it, I it had it has a few flaws with its characters, but everything else about it I really liked. Uh, no, Mike Hayes, we haven't reviewed the uh, Abyss movie. Um, it's it the Abyss was something that I wanted to review almost right at the start of the creation of the channel. That's how much I love that film. Um, but uh, there was quite a few films that Ian and I. We were just like, we're just getting started, we're just getting our rhythm down, you know, we don't know how we're going to evolve, how we're going to continue to do the reviews. So, like, some of the bigger films were kind of worked up to. Um, like, like for me, when we first reviewed the Alien films, and that was when I was at the point where I was like, okay, now I think we're comfortable to talk about the films that we really like. Because um, I didn't want to rush into it and, and not make a, a good video out of it. Um, but the the abyss is it's on the cards. It's not co it's not coming soon. But it might not even be this year, because uh, Ian Ian and I are going to be back to reviewing our Patreon requests. I think starting next week. And as I, I've said a couple of times, right now there are twenty eight films on our Patreon request list, uh, which is going to take us right to the end of the year, pretty much. Uh, along with the six or seven videos that are recorded and, and waiting to go live. Um, but I, I would definitely love to review The Abyss. I adore that film. Um, it's, it's something that, you know, it's, it's the characters. It's the reason why I like the film so much is I like sci-fi, I like aliens and monsters. But when you care about the characters, it's, it's perfect. It's, um... <laughs> While you were up there talking about the abyss, I had all those fuckers <laughs> coming at me. <laughs> no, I'm just keeping you busy. <laughs> they lined up real good, though. <laughs> oh, bench. There's our robots. Oh, yeah. Let's get our goodies. Got me some tungsten. Scavenger bot has returned. Um, let's add another upgrade. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's just a rate of fire. Just, I, I should have put that on. <laughs> and that one's just a clip. I'm looking to equip the ones that have like two add ons now instead of just the one. Uh, there were two add ons, I'm sure. Nice, Robert I, I Allen. You're you... going to get your wife to watch The Abyss soon. That's great. I'd love to watch it for the first time. Um, put on the director's cut as well. Like, the whole experience. Sorry, Dan, what were you saying, dude? Uh, I think there were two-piece ones. When you select them, it does show... Um, it does give you double. Okay. Oh, uh, no, you, no, you've just got different extra stuff, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Is it this way? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I'll just wait for you. Thank you. I was watching you mess about on the, uh, on the stream. All right. Obviously. Um, we've got an elevator. <laughs> We're going seconds behind or something. up to floor three, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I know we, uh, we basically just need to go get his stash and then we are yeah. done with this little side mission. I think that's his body here. You found it. Kind of stupid, ain't it? I just wanted to live, and now that I'm the only one left, I couldn't give a shit. Look, ashtray, beer, cowboy hat. Just like Sam said. I was looking at the hat. I tried to wear it. Never took one for the team. Well, 
Well, team, you can hear me now. This one's for you. Brother, Tally Max on the floor. Blue's brains out. I think he was here a while by the looks of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He made a last stand and then blew his brains out. So this was meant to be where his stash is. So uh, where's the goodies, man? Holding out on us. There'll be oh, something look. good here somewhere. C4 on the ah. thing. We're going to go up this lift and then it's going to explode and we're going to have to fight. Yeah, oh, no. I'll uh, I'll just wait here then. <laughs> uh, Tarman, you gotta go for dinner. No worries, dude. Have a great weekend, Tarman. Take it easy, dude. Level two. That's where we go, go, girl. Level two. All right. Oh, there's a health pack there. Have you come up with any difficult clues then to come up with people? Did you mention that you're going to give some difficult clues for what the video was going to be coming out? Um, like, no, I haven't. I, I, I'm still, I've still mulling it over, but yet uh, I haven't, I haven't come up with any yet. Um, I didn't get a chance to with, uh, with Rogue, and plus, somebody uh, at one point already let that cat out of the bag. <laughs> As to which film was coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it was uh, uh, a Mr. Campbell request, that one was. <laughs> uh, well, I do know what he's recorded this week. Indeed. And I, I, I'm willing to be proud as well. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> uh, oh, access key. I, I grabbed the access key. Oh, very good. So, we, was that back up to three then? Yeah, back up to three. Oh, B, thank you very, very much. <laughs> uh, what made you guys start reviewing movies? What video was the hardest to edit? What was the funniest movie review? I'm going for a walk now. Bye. <laughs> Lots of <laughs> love. It's like it's like four <laughs> hearts there. It's just like yeah, yeah. Here's some questions. See ya. <laughs> no, thank you very much, B. That 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 that's very generous of you. Um, <clears throat> the reason why Ian and I started reviewing movies was because we got, we, we did everybody's tits in talking about movies, like six or seven of us would go to the pub for a night out drinking. People want to talk about stuff, but me and Ian would just dominate the conversation, just fucking talking about movies. So people were just like, we well, shut up talking about films. We're like, no. <laughs> and, uh. So then we would just, you know, somebody just said, hey, you know, you should, you should record yourselves talking about films. I was like, well, maybe, really, we'll, we'll give it a go. And, uh, but the rest is history there. Uh, the hardest to edit. Um, honestly, I'd, um, I actually, I've not had an issue editing any of them. Um, I, I guess the, the hardest to edit may have been Alien because that video got edited 122 times before it got past copyright. And that was um, back in the day of me just making... Every time YouTube claimed a video and said you need to go and do something. Do we need to hold the button down down here? Are we both holding the A button here? I, I'm waiting for partner. I'm just waiting for you to press the button. I'm Back pressing. Up. Right. It says press storage. A. Yeah. Just press it. Yeah. Or hold it. it. Okay, I'm holding. Holding it. it. There we go. I had to hold it. Yeah. There we go. All right. Oh, inventory's full. Um. My so, full. <laughs> I guess Alien was the was the hardest in that regard. Um. And the funniest movie review we did. I don't know. It's um. Hard to say. It's really hard to say. Um, yeah, I can honestly can't think. Very, very tough questions. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm trying to think back over eight years of recordings. Yeah. 
shit's about to hit the fan. Now I can hear the music go. Oh. It was playing before. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't quite answer your question, B. I'm think I'm still thinking. Like, um, as much as I, you know, don't like a particular actor, uh, I had a fun time editing the editing the Happy Gilmore video. I had a feeling that. It's over when you're done. Yeah, <laughs> I had a feeling people would enjoy that video. I was like, it's. You know, I've got to have fun. If I'm going to sit there and edit that review for, you know, 8 to 12 hours, I'm going to try and make it fun for me as well as as well as you guys watching it later. No worries, Mongo Bongo. Thanks for dropping by, dude. Have a good weekend, dude. Can we go through? I'm just, I've hit the door button. Here we go. Taking this with me. <laughs> Alright, back down to floor one, I think. Oh, it went. Oh. Uh, yeah, Le Leviathan. Yeah, that, 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 was a, that was a great film. Um, I had uh, Daniel Stern in it as well. That man can scream, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, Leviathan is a, is a forgotten classic. Was another alien clone type movie. Of the alien and the thing type. No. Oh. Yeah, like, slashers. Yeah. yeah, slashers is a great choice. Well, uh, again, Matt, that's it's like one of those things I just try and put out of my memory. <laughs> every every so often, I'll see a fresh comment on slashers, and I'm like, oh god, yeah, that that film exists in the world. And then that song starts playing in your head. <laughs> If you've seen the review, you're hearing that song in your head too now, aren't you? <laughs> I'm listening to the uh, rock and roll. Right <laughs> yeah. <in the> <laughs> I'm just bobbing my head along, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Hey, TJ, how's it going, dude? Thanks for dropping by. Uh, um, Gary, I'm being eaten. Um, i got a necro in front of me. I'm turning around. Where are you? I'm shooting it in the foot. I'm shooting it. Damn. Ah. Ah. Nice. Died just a second before he got me. <laughs> yeah, I love this gun. <laughs> Good for taking limbs off. <laughs> or legs at least. Yeah. It's fun. Are we just getting out of here? I think so. Yeah, I think we're, um, we've done the side mission. It should yeah. go back to the... Back to the shuttle. Yeah. Oh, my. How did you not die? Ah, oh, behind me. Oh, it's the exploding ones again. He's behind you. He's right behind you. Move. I'm trying to run. <laughs> Damn. That was good. Ah, oh, another one. Where is it? There it is. Ooh, nice shooting. Dang. I got pinned in that coin. I was just trying to get out of there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert Allen, no, I haven't seen uh, Gretel and Hansel yet. I've seen it pop up on my feed of uh, new releases uh, a while ago, and I was like, eh, I might give it a go. I still need to watch that scary stories we tell in the dark, I think was what it was called. I haven't seen that yet either. Yeah, the music just stopped. It just cut off all of a sudden. Well, was it worth a look? Yeah, Tucker had a nice pile of salvage. Good. I'm headed to the aft section now to check. 
check out that shuttle. Hopefully it's not a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of good stuff on that. Yeah. Oh. I thought the, I thought the elevator was going. I was <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> it was telling me it was uh, that you were waiting for me at the elevator when I'm stood oh. right inside you in the elevator. <laughs> Okay, you uh, we going on to the show? I'm just gonna check the uh the quests. Yeah. But actually I think I don't know, let me just I don't know, is this is the location of what the ship that we're on? We're in the yeah. mid station. We've just oh, yeah. so we need... tower I think. Yeah. He said to go to the aft station to get yeah. the uh the shuttle. So Oh, controls are up here. Yeah. Space oh, is so pretty, <laughs> yeah. Wow, look, look down below. It looks really nice. <sighs> CMS Terra Nova. Hey, Omega 32. How's it going? Hello, Gary. The Alpha Legion bends the knee. <laughs> so they should. <laughs> By your command. <laughs> oh, so I can hear somewhere to deploy the uh, scavenger bot. It's got to be inside somewhere. Yeah, probably on the other side of this door. Let's go have a look. Yeah, because there's another tungsten thing there. There we go. Yeah, doing that one. Is it worth me dropping it as well? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, our scavenger bots only bring back to uh, to our own. Got a military, military engine, engine pot. Yeah, there's no bench here for me to craft one. Come back uh, this I way. I think it's in that other door. No. Oh. That's the is that the regenerator? Yeah, that is the re he's stuck in the corner. Let's get on the elevator. <laughs> he just charged past me. <laughs> right. Idiot. <laughs> uh, Logan's Run, Westworld, Fantastic Voyage, Black Hole. Yeah, some absolute classics there, dude. I remember this. Sounds like we got work to do. Never done, Gary. Always something. Stasis support. Uh, I'll pick it up later. <laughs> I need a bench to drop off all the, uh, the goodies. We got yeah, later. yeah, off that last pickup. The thing is, we went past one on the way out as well. I should have. Did we? <laughs> Yeah, right that was satisfying, road. wasn't it? <laughs> hey, David, how's it going, dude? Oh, shit! <laughs> I was about to say, look what I found. I shot it. I was like, oh, it's a necromorph. <laughs> So oh, sorry. <laughs> Stop hitting me! It's <laughs> walking around this explosive ah. device. Oh man. Oh, I killed it. I thought, oh, I can pick this up. I'm <laughs> yeah. gonna throw this at someone. I'm like, ooh, I was about to say, look, guy, look what I found. And he blew it up right in my fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can hear him, but I can't see him. Uh, it's the uh, they scare me so badly that the moment I see that exploding limb, I just. Uh, well, there is a spare one down there, and I'm not picking it up this time. Right. <laughs> Right, let's get on the elevator. Let's go up. Uh, oh, sh I thought you were on it. No. Well, it looked like you were walking on it. So. Oh. Yeah, walking, not walked. <laughs> oh, and of course the exploding boy. Oh, he just jumped in the vent behind me. Another one just jumped oh, in the vent. Oh. Managed to uh, fire off the sack at someone anyway. Very good. Anyway, I think we need to go back down anyway. <laughs> oh no, can we oh, activate we this now? This over? Yeah. Getting on the lift. Let me get on it. <laughs> We've gone to the middle section, but yeah, I don't think we can actually activate this yet. Yeah, we need the other parts. I think we've got one of the three parts so far. Yep. Ah! Wrong, oh, I it's a bench. A <laughs> no, I imagine a little payback is in order. Down the lift. Um, I want to activate this bench, but I just want to make sure it's safe for a second. All right, I'm going on the bench. I'm going to drop off all this stuff. Oh, oh, it's it's trying to tell me about the parts that we need. Alright, there was a lot of stuff to drop off there. Yep. My turn to cover. <laughs> to yeah. Wait. I can hear all the Necromorphs, they just seem stuck. Oh no, here they are. I missed him! <laughs> just shaking my head. <laughs> I'm not angry. <laughs> they're, they're, it's like they're not, they're running right past me just to get to you. <laughs> Actually, Gary, the Alpha Legion bends the knee to the off-the-shelf. <laughs> ah. Gary, are you going to review Inner Space? Um, it has an awesome theme. Inner Space is a great film. I love Inner Space. Great music, great performances. Got the parts. All parts collected. All right, let's get to the bench. Let's go back up. Yeah, I used to love Inner Space. Was fascinated by that film. Sometimes I one-shot these things, and then other times it takes four. Right. Oh. You made the part. Ah. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> hey, that worked. I can see the top of readout. Okay, hang on. I'm going to try. Who's this? This voice seems familiar. That's Ellie. Oh, it's Boobs again. <laughs>
Um, which way? Back, to back the right. up that way, yeah. Yeah, they left Inner Space open for a sequel that never happened. Uh, they never really needed to do another one. I mean, it would be fun, you know, I guess, floating around some other, you know, parts of the human body. <laughs> uh, I like the the uh, they, I like the fact that they had a fight with the other guy, and they uh, opened his suit. And I think it was in the um, in the in the in the stomach, and so then just watching him get, you know, it's like being in acid. You just see his skeleton inside the suit floating past. And of course, you had Robert Picardo as the uh, the cowboy. <laughs> Through the door. Yeah. Through the door. Oh, I was expecting an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well, there never used to. There's no ladders in the previous Dead Space games. Yeah, they are. Oh! Coming for me. Definitely coming for you. Alright, I'll let you be the tank. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that scene, Jay. <laughs> Yeah, where he's, uh, you know, he's got no control and he needs to uh, see and hear through his, you know, the host body. So he fires that clamp at the eardrum and then, yeah, shoots that harpoon at the back of his eye. <laughs> Why did you have to mention eyes whilst playing this game? <laughs> Stick a needle in your eye. What? It's telling us to go back up? What? I'm so confused right now. I'm so startled. <laughs> uh, scavenger bot's back. Very good. Which way is it? Um, I think we have to go down the elevator down there. Yeah, we do. Ah, yeah. Take us away. Oh. I thought we were going down. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> this looks, still looks good. Looks like it's going to need both of us. Okay, just then. Looting shiny real quick. Oh, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I shall follow suit. Switch, hold. Yep. Do we need to stop at a certain point? Or is it just going to do itself? It's going to do itself, I think. I don't know. We just said... Uh... Do we do it again? Yeah. Oh, do we need to go over attach there and attach it manually? I'm on my Maybe. way. Running all the way. <laughs> Manual connection required. What? Do I need to stasis? Here we go. Oh yeah, spaces is the thing. Um, yeah. Is it is it doing the thing? I think it's doing the thing. Uh, I might be dead. Um, no, where oh, are you? Him. Oh, there you are. I did stasis and we broke out of it super fast. Yeah, we need to do some weapon upgrades. Nice. Oh. Rig upgrades we need, not weapons. True, yeah. Oh! I've been put down. Yeah. I'm working on him. There we go. Detach the fuel Holy. nozzle. We good? Partner is now waiting on the switch. Trying to pick up the med pack, not that. <laughs> it was right next to it if we kept activating that. Right, 
Things are getting hot in here. Well, I mean, Ellie's nearby. <laughs> hey, Mr. Brandon Gaming. Um, let's go. Which way? Let's just go this way. Yeah, I thought I was going this way because I saw shiny. Um, no, that's. Oh, no, that's just the that switch. Way. Yeah. Yeah, we got. Oh, we got. Yeah, we got to go on this cliff. Oh, Gary, you've <laughs> done it again to me. <laughs> if I this. if I could wave, <laughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you right now. <laughs> well, you ain't got to worry about the necromorphs right now. I'm just being burnt alive. Uh. Don't die, don't die, uh. don't die. I'm dead. What? What got you? The fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're you're a little bit late there, uh, Nico. Um, you have, you you can watch the replay. <laughs> Let me um, get on the fucking lift this well, time. Well, just get. Oh, you're already here. Huh? <laughs> I get. I, you don't just get. You get on it and immediately press the button. I'm right uh, behind you <laughs> every time. Um, we did do a review for Left 4 Dead. I think it was uh, Jeff and uh, myself. We did record a Left 4 Dead Gaming Friday uh, some time ago now. Um, but yeah, a, a stream of Left 4 Dead would be pretty cool. Oh. Big boy. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I've gone down. <laughs> I've, I, I've gone down too. <laughs> Going down to uh, Brown Town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's brown and red and dead and. <laughs> Panic! I'm panicking. Panic! Run! I was taking a uh, nice little drink. Gotta stay hydrated. Please. Do a barrel roll. Crazy time. Oh, it's going. the fucking regenerator. Going, I, I'm not going. That, that killed me last time. I'll catch the next one. Yeah, I'll, uh... See you there. Ah! I can't get on the elevator. I can't get on the ladder. Here we go. Be careful the moment you come out of the door. Uh... Okay. You'll see what I mean. Yeah. It's coming right for us! I mean, you say us. Notice, notice what I'm doing here, Gary. I'm down! I'm down. I'm down. I don't know what put me down. Oh, I guess that thing did. I need picking up. Nope, I'm down got well. you too. I tried to pick you up, but it didn't let me because of the flames. <laughs> Gary, what do you think of Eva Green? <laughs> that, that, that's private. <laughs> no Eva Wong. <laughs> Ada wait uh, Eva Green is um, is gorgeous um, and she's a very talented actress oh I'm stuck I can't move I'm dead got stuck behind you and all the necromorphs Maybe we should dodge the fire this time. Uh, yeah. Well, I saw you run. I was like, I'll run right behind you and then <laughs> didn't get anywhere. Uh, Eva Green isn't a porn star, although she does have a, f a fair few nude scenes in films. Um, she did, uh, you know, quite a lot of independent films as well. Uh, she was also a Bond girl. 
in uh, Casino Royale. I think she's like the only Bond girl. Spoilers, it's been a while anyway. It's like one of the only Bond girls to ever die in a James Bond film. I'm with. Oh shit, there is no elevator. I was like, I'm just gonna go the elevator! <laughs> it's not even there. Yeah, I called it last time and then I was sat there waiting for you and then you <laughs> yeah. died. I'm on. I was tempted to leave you the first time. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I would have dealt with it. Didn't. <laughs> you didn't deal with it when I did wait. <laughs> when I did wait, sorry. Yeah, I don't know how I died. I, I thought I had good enough health and then the uh, regenerator oh. just. Uh, Put me down. Going. Oh, what? The what? Roll, just roll. Do a barrel roll. Why won't that door open? Is that the way we need to go? Shit, it's not the way we need to go. We've got to call this yeah. Mate. It's here. Yeah, I'm, I'm on. on. I yeah, I just went to the middle quickly just to. What? We're gonna fix it? How do you fix it? Fix it, fix it. You're the engineer, mechanic, dude. Oh. I'm on. Hit the button, hit it. He's meeting us down below. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, hey Carver. Yeah, I don't think there was. There was a lot of. Uh, there's not many fans for Sin City, and even less for Sin City Two. I'm down. I'm also in the fire. I might just die. No, I'm still alive. I'm just on the outside of it. It's that regenerator, man. I don't. He's done so much damage. Thank you. Oh, I'm in the fire. I'm trying to roll out. Oh. Watch out, because he does blow either side. <laughs> Giggity. I'm <laughs> well, going. Flight system is nominal. System check complete. Oh, it's so hot in here. I can't wait till we cool down. <laughs> 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 Do you think there's any cold parts coming up soon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was on the, on the frozen oh. wasteland at the beginning. Oh, shit. I got what I asked. Oh, for. fuck! Face is cold, right? <laughs> it blows, it sucks, it burns. Clear the obstruction from the gears. Oh, we gotta get on the guns, it's a turret segment. Oh. The gears keep getting jammed. Keep getting explosive barrels wedged in there. <laughs> we got this. That's what I say, we seem to seem to not be having any issues here. Oh here they come, they're coming out in larger numbers now. There's a shooting gallery! We're gonna go flying. We. Yeah, I, 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 Jay, I, I really like the first Sin City, but I never brought myself to watch the second one. And a lot of people didn't like the art style, you know, the choice. I know a fair few people didn't like Sin City just because of the visual aesthetic of it. <sighs> I don't 
we have any um the bot oh, we haven't picked up our bots again yet Shoot these mines. Good. Where are we heading to? I know it's straight uh, ahead, but I just can't see the way we are. We get in. It's just behind this. Thing. Ah, very good. Give me that. Nope. Flew off. I don't think oh, I can get to shit. it. Oh, I picked up space debris instead. Oh, I got it. It was ammo clip for me. Made it. I'm up. And I'm down. It could be a shuttle. We should check it out. Take it, oxygen. Uh, we're going through the door or we're going in the sh... Yeah, we going through the door, I guess. I think so, yeah. I think we can go and do the Greeley now. Um, possibly. Um, but uh, I think we're going to checkpoint any time now. Because uh, yes. sadly, very sadly everybody, I'm going to bring the stream to a close. We have gone into a little bit of overtime. Uh, which is fine though, because I think Dead Space 3 is a little bit longer uh, than the other games. Um, suit up. Just gonna check. Is there a new suit to wear? Change suit. Special forces suit or the EVA suit? Yeah, special forces suit. We got a new suit. I've only got the EVA. Um, well, yeah. The EVA. Tr tr try this suit. Uh, try this kiosk um, after me, and you might be able to upgrade your rig as well. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah, I understand, Robert Allen. It, it's not blasphemy. I can only take so much Frank Miller myself. Ooh, badass new suit. Yeah, see if you can upgrade as well. Change suit. EVA, that's it. There can be only one. <laughs> I've only got the the one. Yeah, uh, I, I, I like the original Sin City. <laughs> Burn the heretic. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun, um, Guillermo. I'm really glad you had fun. And Matt Midgley, thank you. Um, but yeah, we'll, we will definitely be back next Friday. We'll be continuing our Dead Space 3. Um, I, I, we might have to break this up into three, um, three streams, uh, just because I think this game is a little bit longer. Um, yeah, and, like and we want to do the side missions as well. Um, so... Uh, we'll, 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 we'll see how we get on. We'll see how far we get in the next stream, and then we may do overtime then. Um, but I think we should yeah, just go a little. Keep dying. We we do our We are playing it on hard. I thought it was going to be a little bit easier on hard with two players, but still. <laughs> it's felt pretty easy to me. Yeah, it's not we, been too difficult. I've just I've just been distracted more than any more than anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dan, if you could also just drop the uh, the Discord link. Um, in the I chat one more time for us as well. There you go. I think I might have broke it there. Do it again just to get No, no, it's, it's there. It's definitely in. Awesome. Uh, I, I didn't know if I'd caught a key when I pressed it, that's all. Thank you very much, Axel. Uh, it's always nice to hear hear those kind words. Um, yeah, I don't know which floor. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> one, two, or three. I'll just go to two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you uh, if you enjoyed hanging out in the chat, come and join the Discord. Uh, quite a few of us will be over there chatting about whatever you want. <laughs> There's um, a lot of things and a lot of uh, topics to talk about in there. Definitely, you yes. Definitely pick your poison. <laughs> and if there is ever a category or uh, a topic of conversation and there isn't a, a category in there for you, let me know and uh, I'll create it for you. It's as easy as that. <laughs> well, on that note, I think we're going to bring this uh, to its to its end. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Carver. Thank you, Zane. Uh, thank you, Axel. 
thank you um, Seagull King thank you Stuart Schaefer thank you Mongo Mongo and everybody else in B and everyone else whose B. names is uh, has disappeared past in a flurry thank you so much for joining us uh, for this stream stay safe have a fantastic weekend I'll catch you all very very soon and thank you Dan for joining me for this playthrough <laughs> no problem see you all next week yeah